Good time of the day, yo creatures of Warrior Ratings, and welcome to Kingdom of Aldana. Today, I, Damien Lifeline, your resident skeleton cleric, will be the dungeon master. And because I am so nice and like you very much, I'm sure everything's gonna go well, we're gonna pass the trials and fly! <laughs> So, sorry for the technical difficulties, my sister was training her necromancy and something got out of control, but turned undead worked well, so everything is under control now, this is gonna go as planned. Uh, you get down the D4 inspiration dice. <laughs> By all means. <laughs> Wait, really? Are you sure you want to do that? Yes. Yeah, yeah you deserve it. Right. So also, why the hell do you have that at your house? Because <laughs> my sister is an artist and she needs it. Don't ask me why. Anatomy? I still believe Mount is a necromancy version. Anyway. Uh, previously on our session, the Heron Stellans have continued with the trials as Leos faced Orgusor in a trial of insight and Melora challenged Argenteur to a trial of Arcana. Both of them have lost to their respective opponents, though not without displaying their skills to a great and successful extent. <laughs> uh, everyone has moved to a different location where Zardos faced Meliharir in a trial of reflexes, which more became a game of arcane hide and seek, but due to sudden death rule introduction, Zardos was caught by the trap and lost by the points, I guess, would be the term. And so the Hearnstones have returned to Pidgeric's house to get some dinner, to recover, get a sleep, and wait for news, as Argenteur has promised that the dragons will discuss into the night and try to come to a, an agreement about your success or failure as quickly as possible. You have an evening to yourself, which you are welcome to spend discussing whatever you wish. Hopefully you have talked what you want to discuss. So, please go do that while I clean up a pile of human bones. <laughs> I have no plans, I just wait for the final result. I mean, there isn't too much we can do in the first place, alright? Just uh, wait and pray. Do you guys mind if we, uh, when we go back, we go through a quick uh, detour through the blind forest? Uh, what? Just, you know, visit the blind forest. You want to visit the oak? I... You want to tell us something, Trago? I just had a really awful dream that felt super real. Tell us more. Let me guess. It was of the mother of dragons devouring the tree. I didn't see what did it, but the tree splintered. Uh, Wolf and Teal fought and died. Or didn't die, but at least got smashed. Uh, yeah. So the oak got splintered into this okay. kind of battle, uh, sharp-edged battlefield or whatever. It was a really weird dream, but felt so real. Yeah, of course. There's no problem going back to Blind Forest. No, oh, there's a huge problem with going back there. Why? I think so, too. What if that is literally the point where the Mother of Dragon comes out into this world? I'm definitely not going there. That's what? the main thing, I think, too. It is, yeah. I mean, it was always said that that would basically be where the portal is going to be. If you had a vision of the oak splintering, that probably means she came through. When did you have this vision? This night? Right? Okay. You can't hear you yet. Yeah, Dan, did I, I had the dream this night, right? Uh, yes, you had it this night. So, from six to seven. So, I'd be very fucking careful with that idea. 
Can we swing on in there just to take a peek? Um, who knows what if she's there, if she's setting up. If there's hundreds of green dragons waiting there for us. You never know. Or what if this is an omen to give us a warning that it's about to happen? Maybe maybe there is something there that we can do to stop it. I mean, what we are doing right now is what's supposed to get rid of it beforehand. Uh, afterwards, I don't think there's anything we can do to stop it. Otherwise, we, uh, Lady Khazar would have put us on that plan instead of this one. But wasn't there something about another tree on the other side, um, some other realm that if we were able to destroy that, it would stop her from being able to come through or weakening the Great Oak? I think that plan may have applied if it wasn't very dangerous to go to her side and if the Oak hadn't splintered now. Please go to the Feywild, I want to lay our actions. It might have been an option, but now... I highly doubt it. How about we... Can you only scry on people, or can you scry on places, too? I don't know how that works. I believe you can scry on places. I'm not sure. I believe there is a limited Let ability to scry on places, but I'm also pretty sure you can't scry unless you're on the same plane of existence. Yeah, I didn't mean yeah. that. If this is true, but maybe... Oh god, Why? where's my NPC sheet? There it is. You can choose a location you have seen before as the target of the spell. Well, we won't be able to do that until tomorrow anyway, because I didn't prepare that spell in, in, in preparation mm. for our battle. Yeah. I just mean that might be an alternative to going there ourselves. Might maybe be uh, scrying on it from when we are back at the distance. Yeah. yeah, I would much rather prefer we did that. Anyway, I think Lady Khazar will have an update on that as soon as we are back on the other side anyway. If we will. No. And that is that spell that lets us talk to a god to see if what's happened and what's going to happen within the next seven days. We could maybe try that. See if maybe sure. something has happened. Sure, I don't know how that works, so sure. Okay, I do have one level five spell left, so I'll start casting that, that as a ritual. I think we still have oh, you don't need a spell slot for this when you cast it as a ritual. Oh yeah, that's right. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you're Coming welcome to expand your spell many... slot. I don't mind. <laughs> this is actually the last token I have, so... Mm. Okay, then nice. I'll delete it. Good to know. Um, Alright, yeah, so you spent 10 minutes to light up some incense and... Put yourself into a state of trance as you attempt to get in contact with a god. So do please pose me a question, a single one, concerning a specific goal event activity to occur within seven days. She is going to ask, what will happen to the great oak in the blind forest, the tree that represents the great oak? Or what has happened to the Great Oak in the Blind Forest? Is it your final question? Yeah, I think I got it worded right. Alright. Um, right. You open your eyes and look at the ritual circle in front of you where as part of your personal touch you have bloomed small flowers to assist in your connection. You watch as the flower in the center of the circle withers. And that is your answer. 
It hasn't exploded. Yeah. It hasn't shattered. It has simply withered. As far as I can tell, the flower is still alive. Although barely. Can I use my druid craft to try and keep the flower alive as I explain yeah. to them? I mean, it's gonna I die eventually anyway, but sure. Prolong yeah. its suffering. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> My poor flower! Anyway, I don't think that the trees are um, destroyed yet. I think it's still dying, but I think this means that the tree's still intact. It's just very weak. We may have a chance to stop this. It just oh. felt real. If the Great Oak dies, what if Trego loses his abilities and his powers? I don't know how religion works. I'm just going off of speculation. It's the same as if, say, I lose my connection to nature. Would I would, in theory, lose my powers. Trek doesn't believe in this great oak. Trek believes in himself that believes in this great oak. <laughs> well, that would be unfortunate. unfortunate. Go ahead. I said devastating. Oh. That could still be of use. Uh, yeah. Cannon fodder. Mean shield. Nah. I mean... Um, honestly, I think if you lose your abilities, we can have a chat with the Raven Queen. <laughs> Pretty sure there's a deal I could uh, uh, make there for you. This session is sponsored by the Raven Queen uh, gang. I, th I think uh, what it's not like we can leave here early. Who knows whatever else is gonna be entailed, and this is more important. No, I said after we were. <laughs> yeah, I just mean that um, whatever might not have happened yet, if it was a vision of things to come, the way Melorang is seeing it, maybe your dream was also just of things to come, then. Maybe we may be back in time, but I don't know. I wouldn't bet on it, and I usually like risky bets. Yeah, at this point, isn't one stopping that map and being stopping the Mother of Dragons? I don't know. Honest, honestly, is there really that much to do for us tonight, except for? contemplating what may or may not happen I think that's a waste of time because a lot of will depend on what the dragons will tell us if we can see hmm. the big boy or not <laughs> yeah. I like everything <laughs> yeah. oh skizzers lots of skizzers we were looking for skizzers recently, so it's nice to find them. Yeah. And two more. <laughs> okay. Let's let's cut the jokes. Oh, was that a pun? Maybe. Cut, cut the jokes with it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that one was very slow. <laughs> well, I'm gonna take a nap because I feel like it. Like once we go back, what what's our plan? We go back to Lady Kazar and wait for her to tell us what to do. She will have intel most likely. She will tell us where we need to go, where we can hide probably. And then we'll see where things go from there. And if we have a day or two, I will go to the plane of air. Tell a big giant man what we did on the plane of ice. Will be another story of failure. 
death. And then I'll come back. And then Lady Kazar will tell us what to do. Mm. You probably have to learn Draconic. Mm. On times ahead. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna find a place to lie down and just sleep a bit until we get a memo. Well, it's a bit too early to sleep. Oh. But you can definitely engage in some chilling. It's never too early for a power nap. Huh? Mm -hmm. It may only be too late for a power nap because it could ruin your sleep cycle. Yeah. Oh, shit. One of I'll, play the the flute. I'll play the flute a bit just to, you know, waste some time. Yeah. Uh, why don't you roll my performance check just to see how much worse you've gotten? Not mm. much. Alright. You are feeling. Like, not sure, you're not sure if it's, this is a fluke or if the dragon world is somehow. Filling your mind with inspiration and feeds you the ideas for what to play, but you play good. Play good. Alright, so you spend uh, the evening. Most is anticipation, just waiting to hear whether you have passed or failed the exam, if you're gonna get your award using license, and <laughs> can't help but feel how perhaps unfair and ridiculous this whole situation is, how dare they question you when all you're doing, all you've always been doing, is just trying to help. At least some of you might having those thoughts, the more energy loving ones. I feel very indifferent about this. <laughs> you seem to feel indifferent about many things recently. <laughs> well, there's not much to do. If they won't allow us to talk to him, what what the fuck are we supposed to do? We'll start killing the dragons until we reach the big, big guy, who then will probably kill us. Ah. Yeah, uh, this is pretty much only the only thing is then to go back. <laughs> um, at some point, you I guess considering the location. Uh, we hear some commotion on the first floor. Uh, people are loudly talking. And uh, shortly after, a um, dragonborn servant of uh, Pijurik uh, comes knocking on uh, I guess the area you're staying in. Which is. I mean, I, I guess some of you might have like separate into your rooms, but uh, there's a small, um, call it, guest room? No, 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 that's the wrong word. Trying to transliterate too much. Living room lounge, yes, small lounge where you are just chilling and listening to Leos. And the servant says, addressing Cleos, who is the only fluent person here, that uh, how would you call it? I guess you should say Lady Rogardienne has arrived to see you. Oh, that's wonderful. I will just translate. Florida, oh. I think your evening entertainment has arrived. Oh. <laughs> Did you want to fight Lady? Uh, uh, 
Uh, Rogue Guardian. Guardian. <laughs> something to do for the evening. Dardy, dardy, dardy. <laughs> Definitely something for us to do for the evening. Yeah. Pass the time. Or she may have come to fetch her evening's entertainment. I don't know. Yeah, pretty much. Probably a question of perspective. It's Just in case this counted as a us eating and talking all that's short rest. Oh yeah, you definitely had a short rest multiple times over. What? So like honestly, um, I guess Milori is mostly spent because she spent almost all her magic and Trager has spent quite a lot of his resources, but the rest of you are fully juiced, basically. Um <clears throat> Alright, so I assume you follow and come down to the main uh, lounge room where you already see uh, Pijik there being in like his houseware, I guess, which is not armor. <laughs> and Roger Yen, who uh, is in her um, small humanoid form. Uh, she also is not wearing armor, just uh, very light uh, robes, actually, you know, like, akin to those that you have seen uh, monks wear in the, um, on the Scourge Mountain. Obviously not the same, like, color or design, but, you know, style. And uh, she's just sitting there, like, she was talking to Pijik about something, and as you walk in, they both turn towards you. She gives a salute. That all of you can understand. And basically gives a uh, sup in Draconic. Hello! I heard you wanted to have fun with me. Uh, I think it was Zardas mainly, who was uh, definitely uh, keen on testing his uh, skills. Against you? Is that still the th what you want, Zardas? I translate. Oh yeah, sure. We have uh, the opportunity. No words. I would be honored. So, just him? I mean, we could do some fun. We could do 1v1, 1v2, 1v3, 1v4, 1v5. Would you like me to be in my humanoid form, in my dragon form? Would you like me to have the toys? Would you like me to fight without my toys? Would you like me to test you? Would you like me to try and kill you? Ooh. Just tell me what you want else, and I'll tell you if you have set the bar too high or too low. I think I'm good. I'm not too much of a fighter. I only fight. I want to test fight. out that bow viewers, Leo. Leo. Uh, Actually, she will be speaking in common because she knows common. So you'll understand this. Oh, yeah. I mean, if anything, this will be a very good experience for all of you fighting another dragon and. Well, I'm no mother, but I should definitely be much stronger than any of her children you'll have to fight. Considering I can provide you with uh, debriefing after. Well, I mean, we don't have to do only one fight. I can fight him, and then I can fight you, or I can fight all of you, or we can do that tomorrow. Once you have rested, I do think some of you are... Slightly winded. She winks at Trigger. Just a bit. Yeah, just a little. I mean, I mean, it's a good point. It might be in some more experience, some tactics that we could try out. Hearing yeah, from a dragon how tips on how to defeat a dragon—that's valuable information. Sure, I'm down for something like that in the morning. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, give me, give me, give me like uh, one hour's warning ahead of time. I mean, you want me to have my toys? I'd Just like so an I hour's warning as well. I don't go around attuned to my armor. How about we just set it for tomorrow at 
I don't know how time works here, but at nine on that place where it was not possible to keel over, you know? Yeah. All right. I think same same rules as before. We we can't kill each other. Just we can that change works. how the wars the work. Previously, they have prevented even unconscious blows. I assume some of you know healing magic. Well, I've seen one of you use it. So we can change the words to prevent deadly blows, but not knockout blows. That, that sounds good. Yeah, I think a sparring session might actually so, come in handy. Uh, will we be fighting today, or are you postponing everything until tomorrow? Tomorrow. Well, Zardis if, if, might be interested in a 1v1 oh, today. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it depends on what you want. Yeah, we can sure. have one in PGX courtyard. It's fine with me. Alright. Well, I still need to know how hard you want me to go. I'm always up for a challenge. How hard was our challenge? No toys. Testing. I mean, I had my armor on, I just didn't have it on, on. What happens when you have it on? I get a turn Everybody to it, die. and all the special properties get activated. I mean, you didn't expect the dwarves to make such a simple armor that you have seen. Nah, I was wondering about that. It even has a name. Really? Such as? Yes, it is a Shutter Spark armor. That sounds cool. And you haven't seen my trident. Um, how... Well, if we're fighting your dragon form tomorrow, I can see you with your, uh, with your gear tonight. Alright, so... In an hour then, I'll go grab my stuff and actually, uh, but you can get there yourselves, let's play it safe and go to the beach. Just don't want to break anything here. Uh, uh, the beach might be a little um, messed up. Yes, don't worry, it's been repaired. Well, it's been sufficiently repaired. Oh, good. <laughs> Is there? Couple of things I noticed. Oh, uh, I guess. <laughs> Alright, so it seems to have an agreement. Zardas will face her in an hour, so she uh, leaves. And I mean, up to you how you want to make it to the beach. I mean, to be fair. If you leave now, you can just walk there within an hour. If you want to take a long walk, it's... Mm. Uh, I mean, sun has set, so it's gonna be like... Dim light, dusk light. Uh, which I guess Ardus is not much against. Uh... <laughs> uh, so, is that how you do it? Just walk? Yeah, sounds good. Let's take a nice walk in dusk. Yeah. Uh, you take a nice walk, it's... Uh, the evening here is cooler than the day, but it's still warm outside, you don't need any protection or warm clothes to do that. Uh, Drake asks to um, tag along, yeah, because really, how could he miss that? Um, unless you say no. Uh, and just take a stroll down the streets of uh, the city, which, I mean, it's a lot emptier at this point. A lot of people seems to have been, yeah, I don't think this works in Roll20. Uh, a lot of people have 
uh, yeah, you'll just need to, you know, describe them for me. <laughs> like, I have posted no, I know names. You can post has... kids. Um, where was I? Um, yeah, so uh, the chests are not completely empty, but they are sufficiently empty. Uh, maybe the Dragonborn aren't as fun of the chilly evenings. Maybe Erb is just disappointed about the last trials they got to see and is currently sitting at home and... Um, I'm gonna use a word and I'm not sure if it's the correct word, so I'm gonna check it. Yeah, yeah, I'm just lambasting Zardos for his performance, or lack of said performance. Um... <laughs> But yeah, you take a fairly nice uh, walk, and we find ourselves back at the beach. Um, it's the area where the combat has happened previously. It still bears the wounds left by Melora and Abjinto. A couple of rocks are still destroyed, disintegrated, uh, but at least uh, the sand has been kind of flattened out, and the um. Melted lightning uh, sand bits, which I'm pretty sure there's a name for that kind of material. But pirate? Pirate? Is it pirate? No, that's something different. Lightning uh, sand. Fulgurite. Fulgurite, or whatever it's pronounced. Uh, um, has been removed, most likely dragged to be souvenirs. <laughs> so, yeah. it's a bit um, so the arena is there, you feel the barrier let you in as you enter the space. It's once again dim light. Oh, wow, how did it do that? I'll brief you later. All right, yeah. That's that's fun. Um, I hope we don't get copyright striked for anything. <clears throat> anyway, um, where was I? Yeah. So you, I guess you wait for a little bit longer uh, before you hear the flapping of wings, and uh, Rogerian lands on the rocky cliff uh, close to you and uh, polymorphs or shape changes into her humanoid form as she hops off from the cliff onto the sand and gives you another salute so let me oh yeah I've already put it here so let me turn on the dim light filter <laughs> Watch out for her tail! And oh, yeah, we don't need her, she's not here, we don't need him, we don't need him. So it's just her. The rest of you. So I can take your places. And for the purpose of this, like all the sand and below the sand counts as arena, so it's protected, there's a barrier. Uh, but. Yeah, everything on the cliffs will be protected and should not be harmed. Uh, and let me grab the actual token I, mean, I will be needing for this. Since she's not fighting you in this form. What do you say, Melora? Who's gonna win? Uh, what is it? I don't know. It could be either. Uh, I'm gonna say the dragon, though, but it's gonna be extremely close. Uh, I say if you barely took her without her toys and he's fighting her with her toys, I'm gonna bet on her here. No? I haven't seen Zardus' full potential even against his brother he held back. This is true. I'm gonna bet on Zardus. I think it's gonna be extremely close. It. Hmm. Alright, 
let me quickly bring up my notes. Let me jot this down quicker so that I look at it. Um, and you guys prepare what you want. I'm gonna open the dice I will need. This. There you go. Creating a creature that uses almost every single fucking die. <clears throat> awesome. Yeah. I mean, I could have just saved myself some work and make her use the same die for different types of attacks, but why make it easy? Uh, yeah, it's too easy. up my dice rolling box so it's gonna be useful okay and so what else does it do Doesn't help here. Help here. Does she? I mean, she might. Yourself into a whole new can of worms. <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> Alright, and how's that? And. Okay, and. Um, and do that. That. And do uh, that. Eh, yeah, I guess it's... Could be useful. And in which case, let me see. All right, so Zardus, you ready? Oh, yeah, let's, um, let's get this ass kicked over with. Oh, do you, do you want some help? Like, out, outside help? No, it's fine. Now, nah, for once, let's not meddle with his duels. Yeah. <laughs> he has to compensate for the last At one. At least this time, he is in no risk of dying. How do you kill that which has no life? Uh, I not think that is... Alright, yeah. Um, so you uh, 
as she has transformed into her humanoid form, you see um, that while she's still wearing the same armor she was wearing in her fight with Trego, uh, there are like blue arcane lines running over the surface of the armor where seams uh, seem to be. Meaning that it's activated and, well, it's blue. Um, she picked up some other shield, you're not sure if that's one magical is or not, because Trigger has broken her previous one. And in her hands she holds a trident. A beautiful uh, trident of ocean blue metal engra uh, engraved with like motif of waves and uh, sea plants and the um, teeth of the trident itself are wavy shaped with a um, metal drill shaped conch shell as a pommel of it which is gonna hurt pretty hard despite looking very decorative uh, she clicks open her helmet looks at you. All right, so you sure this is how you're gonna do this? Just full on hard mode. I'll go with you like I tried to kill you. Well, that works for me. Let's see how this goes. All right, I mean, he has surprised me already. Who knows how impressive you will be. No telling, only one way to find out. Well, in that case, on guard. Archie takes only defensive position, and I would like both of you to roll initiative. I wonder if this is going to be like a metric system to judge how good of a fighter you are. The dragon test. <laughs> I mean, it's definitely a better system than a better real. Uh, mm -hmm. 15. Uh, actually, wait a moment. I think I forgot a certain property of the weapon. Uh, um, I'm pretty sure it functions as a weapon of warning. Awesome. Oh, yeah. Uh, makes sense. Uh, yes, it does. The weapon of warning, if I remember, gives advantage on initiative. Huh. Eh, General. I mean, not same, though. Uh, right, so uh, you get to go first. Good on you. Let's see how well it helps. Uh, enough. All the dice. <laughs> the memes have found a new home. Oh See? yeah. Uh, please try not to meme too hard, especially during combat. That might interfere with how pure the recording is. That's why we meme in Discord. Yes. Um, Alright. Alright, so you do that as you grab the shadow out of thin air and form a blade out of it. And charge forward. You charge forward. As you come within 10 feet of her, you That's what see I the trident thrust towards you. Uh, that's a terrible roll, uh, which means it is a 24 to hit. Uh, shield. All right. And you deflect her blow with a shield as you uh, infiltrate her range and... Because I have a pretty good idea what that was going to do. Hmm. Oh, 21. Uh, she dodges your first attack. Uh, 
and deflects your second one with her spear, despite your yeah. weapon being yes, being um, immaterial. Her weapon seems to catch it as she grabs it between the forks and just twists aside, negating completely. You have, I believe, one more attack. Yep. Let's go. And again, you try to free your weapon, but she just presses it down with her trident into the sand. And now she lets it slip as she twists the trident in one hand and prepares to strike at you. Alright, so... Um, Bring it. This is her first strike, let's hope she doesn't crit. <clears throat> Well, that's a natural 19. I'm not gonna tell you the total roll, but it is above 30. <laughs> yep. Uh, I mean, that's not surprising. Uh, Alright. Uh, 2d10. Alright, so the first blow comes hard into your chest uh, from for 17 points of piercing damage as it just strike, strikes you square on the chest then twists around for um, uh, 32 to hit just makes it is that a joke? yes <laughs> alright for um, another 17 points of like slashing damage as she cuts across your chest and twists around and strikes you with the conch with her third attack um do you need con saves? 34 to hit yes you do need con saves i think kiara succeeds on a 10 on those I damage think he does i don't remember what's the con save bonus uh, yeah, plus 10. Alright, so on a DC 10 you succeed, but this one is gonna be higher. This is... 23 points of damage, which means DC is 11, you still have to succeed. If he rolls a 1, he still... Is that 23? Oh, uh, yes, it is 23 points of damage, yes. He still auto-succeeds until 24 damage. Yeah. yeah. And she... Kinda takes again a waiting position again. Hmm. Not impressed so far. But then again, we do seem to have a flaw. I'll tell you later. Your turn. Well, thank you for that. Try this again. Uh, right. Uh, Twenty-five. Yeah, uh, you're not sure whether she was, she missed it or let it go intentionally, but you do manage to dodge around her shield and put a glancing blow on her shoulder uh, as your blade strikes through the armor and causes her uh, mental pain as she winces. But as you do so, you see reaction within the armor as the light slightly intensifies. Afraid of that. <laughs> Would like to continue? Uh, I thought something was happening. Oh no, just... it just glows harder. I guess it builds up. Brighter. Yeah. I guess that shit's building up. That's gonna be fun in a second. <laughs> Alright, that definitely nice. hits. Uh, but as uh, your blow connects, she is gonna use one of her Shatter Spark armor's charges to absorb some of your damage. Eh, not very much. Uh, as you watch as armor lights up 
a little bit more. That armor looks interesting. Yeah. Untalk. Oh, that <laughs> looks like a crit. Uh, that was fun, like, I saw the plus 14 first, and I'm like, oh, Same. that's a crit. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, this here, she's definitely gonna expend one more charge of her Shutter Spark armor, and absorb a lot of damage, actually. Uh... Yeah, that's not very good uh, name for it. Uh, so, minus 25... Minus this much. Uh, would you like to do anything else with your crit? Uh, well, I can't do the. Oh right, it's thing. not wound. Yeah, I forgot. Yeah. Smite. <laughs> then I think that is it for the crit. Yep. All right. Is it a fifth level blade, by the way? Yes. Good to know. But yeah, as your. Good third blow penetrates her defenses and strikes her into the vitals. She puts up her shield once again and catches thirst completely. At the end of your turn, she's gonna use her legendary action, and I need you to make a dexterity saving throw as she tries to knock you down. Oh, yeah, I forgot to turn that back on. Got that the plus three back to thirst. Mm. So deck save. Yes. All right. Um, you kind of you, you know. You notice a tail, but by the time it is there in the darkness, it already has grabbed around your leg and twists you up as you sleep on a piece of that lightning glass sand and just like Trigger before <coughs> fall hard on your back into the sand taking um god I hate that move twenty-three points of bludgeoning damage and you are knocked Prone as she moves in and well unleashes an assault at you with her trident. All right, first strike. Uh, twenty thirty six. Uh -huh. Second one, uh, twenty six. Yeah. And third one, here comes a natural 20. Can yep. she miss? I mean, she can miss on the one. Yeah. Like she missed that first attack. After that, yeah. I mean, you shielded. You shielded, yeah. yeah. I mean, you guys aren't the only ones who can have plus three weapons. <laughs> uh, Alright, so... And I have a plus ten bonus of strength. <laughs> She doesn't have plus 10 bonus of strengths. Plus 9. <laughs> um, where was I? Uh, Alright, so attacks. Um, so her first one was a hit. Um, 13... Uh, 25 points of piercing damage. I think I need a concentration check from you. This is 12. Oh, yeah, alright. Block this round. <laughs> Good on you. All right. So technically, should have done this after the first blow, but whatever. Um, the shield of blood uh, forms around you, enclosing enclo you in a, a crystallized blood with two hundred hit points, which I do want you to start calculating. You take twenty-five points of damage on this first blow. Uh, as she twists her trident around and goes for a bludgeoning strike, which does eight, uh, 20 points of bludgeoning damage. And then comes her critical hit. Now, so this is gonna be a bit of a calculation. 
So, for normal stuff... Who's breathing heavily? Stop doing that! Uh, nine, uh, 21... No, not 21, I forgot to roll the dice twice. Uh, 21, 22, 27 points of weapon damage. And then you see... Shit. It was like this, yes. And then you see her armor release a couple... Well, you don't see, everybody else sees this because you're in your blood coffin. Releases a couple, like, rods from the shoulders which crackle with lightning as it passes over her arm, over the weapon, and weapon twists through the air going creating a boom as it boom, strikes the blood coffin so she releases the damage she has uh, stored which also doubles because it's rolling dice a seven seven eleven uh, 14 points of thunder damage and now comes in the special property of her weapon, which on a crit does to you an additional 40 d12. 114 necrotic damage. Oh, nice. <laughs> Selim is like laughing, laughing, and then he hears the number and his eyes just go dead. <laughs> is your blood coughing That's still exactly standing? What the, uh... That's exactly what I had left. So it breaks to zero, right? Huh? Yep. And you're like in your coffee, you're like, okay, 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 as it shatters. And he, you see her standing above you. Maybe smiling under its helmet, maybe not smiling, you're not sure, you can't see her face. But, well, she's the first one to break your blood coffin in one round. Yeah. That is, however, the end of her turn. It is your turn to go. I will stand up. Thank God. Oh, that was... I'm not gonna lie, that was kind of sexy. <laughs> Zardo's hitting on a dragon. You are a strange little Do man. Do advantage on a roll? Oh, well. That was... Right, again. I was strong. Has there been a roll? Because I'm not seeing anything. No, oh, yeah. There we go. Uh, 26. Uh, 26 does hit. As. Again, you see her armor beginning to light up. And so do 27, and so do 25, and she's gonna spend two more charges on your second and third blow to absorb some more damage. Not very much damage absorbed. Then yes, what? Your vi uh, mon monitor is doing the vibration thing again uh, that transmits into the microphone. It, it stopped now. Say something. Hello? Okay, it's gone. Yeah. It's gone. I'm not sure it was a monitor, it must have been me hitting the table. Mm, okay. This is a lot lighter table, so I can actually move it. Alright, give me a moment. No, it sounded it damage. sounded like the the regular thing that sometimes happens. Uh, your first strike, however, once again is caught and parried. Yeah. All and right, that looks like you're doing surge. a lot better. Action as surge, you, keep going. yeah, as you interrupt her mid-sentence. Go for it. <laughs> uh huh. Oh, dice! What are you doing, dice? And one more. I thought I rolled this game. 
I mean, you might have, I'm not seeing. Oh, there it is. Uh, yeah. And she goes, well, oh my God. she's like, ah, ah, ah. Well, it looks like you're doing a lot better. Yes, I like what I'm seeing. As she just completely parries your last three attacks. Well, thankfully, when you're missing her, you're not charging her armor. Yeah, it's something. She, like, with your last strike, she catches your, like, sword and like, tries to... Uh, pull it upwards as once again the end of your turn I needed to make a dexterity saving throw. Oops, yeah, as that. again. Well, do you want to use Indomitable or something? Yes, so definitely. Indomitable yeah, or something? Yeah, that thing was really hard to avoid. No. Yeah, sure. yeah, it seems that her pull is so sudden that you don't have time to dematerialize your sword and feeling yourself being losing balance she hits you in the knee as you fall down to your knees and are knocked prone once again as her blow deals uh 11 21 uh, 23 points of bludgeoning damage to you She, like, puts the shield between you on the ground and herself as um, she hides the weapon behind it. And as you're ready for her strikes to come barreling down on you, she moves the shield aside. You see the lower side of her helmet opened and a lightning barrage strikes yep. at you on the ground. I believe you have disadvantage on this when you're prone on the stage same throws. No? Is it only unrestrained? Yeah. Alright. Prone has no disadvantage. Uh, uh, yes, it doesn't. Alright, I would like you to make a dexterity saving throw. Oh, you don't have second Escape. indomitable, yes, right? Nope. Alright. And you're not Trigger, which means you just watch as, you know, like Godzilla style, just a you beam have... of lightning <gasps> straight into Zydus' chest as he tries to block some of it with his sword, but just it is blasted aside and he takes all of it. So let me roll it. Uh, that's perfectly average. As you take 88 points of lightning damage to the chest, and your sword disappears Top because 40. I don't think you can beat the DC. Second? Well, 44 with absorb elements. Oh, absorb elements. Yeah, in that case, it is 44, in which case. Um, 22 is manageable. Sure, yeah, make me a concentration check. Oh, constitution saves wrong. <laughs> this is what you should have saved in Dominable form, I'm sure. <laughs> Actually, hold on. Oh, wait. More casters. Like, you, you, yes. you do have damage. You do have damage. Alright, then, yes, yep. in that case, you do save on this. Alright, in that case, your sword does not disappear. Um, but it is your turn again. All right, stand up again. All oh, right, you can do that. I forgot about it. All right, she'll do it next time. So while you are something, that hurt. That I am. Uh, that is a hit. Um, just gonna absorb some of that. Because why not? That also might be a hit. Um, your second attack makes it through with a 24, but then she bashes aside your sword for the third attack with her shield 
and pushes in the trident to block your third strike. Uh, and she's gonna use it was four, five, her six charge of armor to absorb your second attack. That was 17 points of damage. Yeah, now the monitor thing or whatever, I don't know, like there's a fan effect when Dan speaks. Yeah. Blah 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 Is it there? Is it there? Is it there? I don't know what's doing that. Can 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 you move the camera camera a bit? The last time in in another session that helped. Yeah, I also moved my PC away from the table because I think it might be like connecting to the table and sending vibrations. Like, how is it right now? It's gone now. Yeah. Right. No, it's still there. Is it? Is it? Sometimes. Is it? I don't know. Yeah. Like, the problem is, I mean, I don't want to move my camera to my other monitor because then I won't really be able to see well. And to be fair, even if I do move it as a place. Yeah, even while you were holding your camera, it was still there. So, my no idea what it is. I mean, like, is it still there? Like, the vibration? I don't know yeah. what it is. Then. Yeah. Like, is it bad? Before, but yeah. No, th now it's, it's not tolerable. So yeah. Right, yeah. I, don't, bad. Bad. yeah. I, I don't know what's coming from. I don't hear. I don't feel anything. Oh, it's gone now. Yeah, I didn't hear it that time. Don't change anything. Right, whatever. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay. Uh, where was I? Um. um yeah, that was happening. I did that. I did that. She blocked that. She blocked this. I think it was the end of your turn when you guys interrupted me, right? I think so, or no, you just went. I was going again. That's that's what I was saying. Uh huh. Are you sure? <laughs> yeah, something like that. Yeah. yeah. All right, then yeah, sure. Have your turn. I'm good. You can go ahead. It's, right. I'm sure it's next one's probably gonna be the last anyway. So. um... As you uh, attempt once again to strike through her defenses, and her armor is glowing pretty bright by now, and you see those rods. Actually, you for the first time see those like metal rods actually starting to protrude a little bit from the armor as they are cracking with lightning energy. Uh, you see the helmet click open again, and you brace instinctively for another lightning breath. But instead of that, she releases a loud roar, and I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. Because you are not Trigger, you can be frightened. <laughs> You're not stupid enough to not be scared of things. Yes. And... You just go... Oh crap. As the fear sets in. I don't think your being undead gives you any advantage against that. Uh, no, they can be turned. So. Again? No, you, there's turn undead, which is, yeah. you know, frightening them and all that. Yeah, so you're frightened for the next minute. Uh, and after that, while you're still kind of distracted, she goes in with the three strikes she can do. Uh, well, good for you, you're not prone. Uh, all right, that's a um, 37 to hit. Sure, sure. A uh, 28 to hit. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. And a 35 to hit. Sure. Where was this rose when I was fighting Trago? So, her first blow is gonna be... Oh wow, double zero. Uh, 32 points of piercing damage. Just because... And just because I hate you, <laughs> I'm gonna release all of my stored energy. Oh shit. Oh wow, that's... 32? Oh wow! Yeah, that was 32. And I rolled real high over here, so... That's 32 piercing. 
and then we've got 10, 19, 27, 34, 35 points of thunder damage. All right, well, as I'm taking that, I am... You are? Going to... Mm, all right. While I do that, uh, this was 67 points of damage, which points your Constitution saving throw DC at 33. Yeah. Well. Please roll it for me. Well, that that attack, the last attack takes me up. So. Oh, it does. All right. What was it? 30. Yeah, it was like 60 something. It was 32 yeah. plus 35. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know. Yeah. I thought you already could get it. So you were out. Yep. I hit her with the hellish rebuke as I go down. Uh, what's your DC for? Oh, DC 14. Uh, so... 6... Well, she actually manages to fail your saving throw, which means she's gonna use her legendary resistance to not fail it. Because its armor is a bitch to clean up. Which means she takes... That's not your Tiffany Hellish Rebuke, right? Yeah. Yeah, what? Uh, it is. Cast at a higher level. I don't think you can cast your innate Hellish Rebuke at a higher level. Can you use, can you use spell slots for it? Can't you? It's a spell I know. I'm pretty sure you can't. I'm pretty sure it's not a spell you know. Like, you don't get Hellish Rebuke as a known spell when you. It's probably not, not gonna knock her out. No. Well, I mean, not, but it might be important. You can cast the Hellish Rebuke spell as a second level spell once with this trait and regain the ability to do so when you finish a long rest. Yeah. Like you can cast you it, you don't... The, the, yeah. By rules as intended, you can't uh, upcast it. Yeah. And it doesn't count as your spell known, so... Uh, what's the level 2 Hellish Rebuke 3 then? Yep. So that was 17 plus 7, 24. That's 12 points of fire damage. And thankfully for you, she is not fire resistant, but you are... Like, actually, I guess it's more like her blow like sends you flying. And as you like are about to hit a stone with your back, that barrier that surrounds this arena sickens as it cautions you and stops you before you hit the stone at basically one hit point as it did with her when she was fighting Trevor. So you're not unconscious, it stops you before that. But... Well... Uh, Trevor, make me an uh, athletics insight? No, like strength insight check, I guess. How do you roll those? <laughs> Uh, do you have insight proficiency? In insight? Yes. I do. Then aesthetics. Oh. Like, you can't roll them automatically, you need to, like, pick something. So, yeah. Right. You, like, judge her um, state. She obviously went on him a lot harder than she did on you. And magical weapons, as obvious, does a huge difference compared to not having magical weapons. But as far you can, as far as you can tell, he didn't even manage to like break her sweat. If we count fifty percent as breaking her sweat. Okay. He came close, but he didn't pass the mark. She walks over, releases her, like gives her her clawed arm. I'll grab it and stand up. To be fair, I would say if you wanted to fight me like this, you'd need... Uh, three, two to have a chance, three to succeed. This is really a good weapon. I've noticed. That armor is no slouch either. Uh, well, yes. That's why I usually but... end my fights within a minute. Mm. 
It's not about how hard I hit, it's just finding that one gap in the armor to strike just right. And my friend here does all the rest of the job. Well, it's quite the handy piece of handy equipment you get there. And quite uh, fighter. That's. I mean, it is a very ancient weapon. It was dedicated to a sea god, which also happens to be my grandmother. She was not a god, she was a dragon, but in those times it was the same thing, basically. So, a family heirloom, I guess. Well, that's impressive. When you want real fight, you want a real challenge. We can fight in the water. That's that's my area. Not sure how well I would do in that in the water. But I'll keep that in mind. You know, the same thing I noticed you when you fought against. Well, when you did your trial. You rely so much on your magical tricks, you forget on what you can do as a fighter. And there is more you can do than just swing your sword. It's a good trick, it's a good spell. And you're sturdy. I have not met anyone who was as sturdy as you and wasn't a dragon. Like really. And that blood thing, or whatever it was, that crystal thing. Yeah, good thing you had it. Because usually that yeah. blow ends everything. But... I... I was looking if, to... if you're gonna fight somebody stronger than me, especially in our dragon form, each blow is gonna be heavier. Relying on that magic is not gonna be very reliable. I'm always open to tips and opinions. Don't you consider this as a tip? Yeah. Maybe. Oh, and another thing, I think I'm the only one amongst my brothers and sisters that aren't keen on magic. If you were fighting any of them, they would have just dispelled your sword right away. I mean, I'm sure you have more than one, but... Well... I'm not sure Is it's gonna work sword? against the mother. Is that your best sword, Zardus? Well, the one that can do quite a bit of damage in one attack without finding a specific chink in the armor. Cat. Thirst can do quite a bit of damage if you find the right point. Is it worth the risk, though? Hmm. Well, the more I use that ability with Thirst, the, the weaker it gets. Hmm. Well... I don't think you're quite there to end the battle against Mother with one blow. So, yes, maybe save that for the right one. Still, your longsword seems like a magical weapon and a powerful one. It might be more suitable to pierce the dragon's armor. I mean, mine is enchanted, so that helped, but you seem to be struggling to hit me. Yeah, it seems to be a problem that comes up sometimes. <laughs> well, I'm to sure that it. happens to everybody. Just make sure it doesn't happen when it really matters. Would be quite embarrassing. Oh, yeah. But for long, Are there any pills that would help him with his performance problem? Well, not pills, but potions, perhaps. 
some blue potions, yes. <laughs> To be fair, he is undead. He is. You see yeah, her yes. kind of like pulling you in and smelling you. Mm. You are interesting. Why are you fighting with mortals? I'm trying to make oh, a change. Would you say you'd fare like the the result would change if she weren't worth her uh, toys? Are you asking her? Both, both of them. Well, I didn't didn't necessarily expect to do win this, but at least see how far I can get against her with her toys. I'd say with that my toys would be about 50-50, similar to yours. I mean, I'd go a lot harder on him. I didn't blast you with lightning. But sure. you didn't seem to have those defensive properties either. It does seem very burnt, after all. Nah, I wish to absorb a lot of that. Good on you. At least I was at least able, deflecting lightning is easy enough, at least some of it. Yeah, I did expect that to end your sword. You holding on under those circumstances was quite impressive. That is at least one thing I while my attack may not always go the way I like, at least hold on to concentration. Well, once again, though, I am one of the youngest among my brothers and sisters. So... I'm not sure you would have held as well in front of Orgosaurus or Argentaurus Brass. Possible. Well, now we just need to prepare for or discuss tactics for mm. tomorrow. Yeah, see how that goes. Interesting. Funny enough, her breath is the strongest because it is concentrated. Not single target kind of thing. Well, it's not single target, but uh, like dragons that have cone breasts usually have a weak one because they can hit more targets. Which means that lightning bolt, by the same logic, should do more damage than fireball, or more like fireball should do less than lightning bolt. Well, <laughs> something that I am intending to change for the next campaign. Anyway, uh, well, they specifically said they made fireball unbalanced. Yeah, yeah. So, Doesn't mean I like it. Alright, so you've had your challenge for this evening. You did a pretty good job, honestly. As frankly, she did hold back quite a lot with Strager compared to you. There's no reason to put you down, yourself down. But, um, please consider what else you would like to do while I try to fix this thing. So yeah, she hits really hard. Mm -hmm. I think she said we needed three people at least to defeat her with her toes. I think me and you could do it. Yeah, if we were working together, I think we probably would have been okay. Mm -hmm.
Is that what you want to do tomorrow? Two on one? Oh, no. Or... Uh, tomorrow will be the practical practice against real uh, form dragons. For a moment, I thought Melaro was going to say, so is that what you want, want to tell yourselves? <laughs> I was like, oh, <laughs> wow, <laughs> this is fiery. <laughs> well, we gotta believe in ourselves, because then there's only despair. Yeah, totally. Two on one, we, we, we could have taken it. Rugardian. Are there any younger dragons around here of course haven't you Don't met sound. the kids i have mm -hmm. met the kids but i was wondering if there's something in between like i, I don't know what we would come i i don't know exactly how young the kids are oh they're but we're i mean something I have this ability where I can... Let me show you. I uh, take like a running jump and as, as I jump off of the cliff there, I'm going to transform into the dream, uh, green dragon form. So if you um, can't bring the dragon, be a dragon. Exactly. Oh, my dragon. Exactly. That's my dragon voice. It's a bit deeper. More mad. I see I, what you mean. I do like to shape into creatures of 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 power. I do know this form, but I was wondering if there would be well, a metallic form that I could take because I, it, it may be. You know, that useful. would be a great honor, you know. For one, it would be a great honor if you would allow me to uh, gaze upon Make me someone persuasion check. that I could potentially. Hmm? Make me persuasion check. Persuasion check. Sure. I'm gonna take her humanoid for it. That's pretty beastly. Uh, That's not CR20. I'm looking for as much power as you can find, or for something more specialized. What do you mean, specialized? Judging you. I know a dragon that you still might be able to turn into. One that would be considered an adult. A little younger brother. But everything beyond that would be beyond you. You could look for a weaker one for younger. I'm pretty sure you could turn into any of our youngs. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure I might be able to do that. Uh, I, I would look. Uh, honestly, whatever you would allow me to see would be an honor in itself. So I would take what I can get. But if there's any dragon that possesses specific abilities that would help fight another dragon, that would be what I prefer most. If, if there's a choice uh, to be made. Well... Honestly, in the end, I might just use it to get her attention. Well, if you turn into mm. any of our kind, that certainly should be helpful. Is that what we want, though? Her attention on you? Yes. It's going to be wearing certain armor. It's going to happen anyway. Any strike she makes against me is a strike that she doesn't make against you. Any strike she doesn't make against you gives you just a second more time to make strikes against her. But I can probably endure better 
<laughs> Is that a dragon? Sure, tell you some of that. I don't know. Then I would say yes. I, I have a feeling that I'm in in the big forms. I yeah, I haven't not... seen them yet. I can also turn into the into a phoenix, and that would have been a challenge. Then I would say, yes, talk to Leighton, see if he wants to introduce you to his family. You should be able to turn to the one of them, at the very least. Thank you. Uh, I will I will ask Leighton when uh, the council has made their decision. Oh, I'm sure they'll argue throughout the night. Any tips for tomorrow? Say again? Any tips for tomorrow? Uh, if I tell you, I'll have to kill you. <laughs> That's what... Well... Well, it's not, not like we're gonna have a discussion about this, right? No. It's gonna either be you may see him or not, and if we're not, then it's essentially set in stone. Oh, oh, no, I was I was talking about tomorrow's battle, not the decision of the oh. meeting. Oh. Or, yeah. I mean, my phrase still applies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I think it's better if you come at me with your plan, and we'll see, see how far it gets you. Alright. I mean, you know what a dragon can do, you say you fought a couple. And... You know how a dragon behaves, especially when... It is free. So figure that one out first. You might have a few ideas. Alright. It's been a blast. Thank you for Spar. But has been a, but it's been a very boring evening, so. I think I'm gonna sign out for the night. Have a nice evening. Mm hmm. Yeah. Take care. She turns around, takes the running start, jumps and mid jump transforms into a dragon as her equipment melts into her draconic form as she disappears. Let's take a nice walk back to Pedrick's place. Sure. Pedrick settles up to Julius. Well, that went about as expected. Well, I didn't know that she was holding back when she fought Trego. In her humanoid form? Oh, that is not what I am talking about. Trego is a much more superior warrior to Dargos. I feel like killing him, I don't know why. <laughs> Peter throwing shade, man. There is but we don't know that. a difference <laughs> uh, between fighting with your convictions and without any. I would still... Well, if you ask me, I think... Both have their strengths. It's honestly dueling is not for everyone. 
If I were to uh, to have been posted in a duel, I would have been knocked out in a second. But if I'm there on a battlefield with my group mixed in between them and they form a line that protects me from the rest, I can meddle the fuck out of other people and I can be really annoying. still gonna them. die first. <laughs> I may still well, actually, die. Actually, Arliss is in back. Arliss is back. <laughs> I may die in the process. I have died in the process, but we all have our strengths, and dueling is a very, very specific one. And to be fair, he was fighting what we assume is one of the strongest creatures that we can imagine. Reduced into a humanoid form, so I think he did better than most humans would do. Uh, humanoids. Fair. To be honest, I didn't expect Trego to win. Nobody either. Yeah, you don't. This is fucking draconic, you know. Like you, you, you can just hear your names being called out. Mm-hmm, yeah. yeah. And I guess, yeah, like, the, you track, like, all... you've heard enough words from him that you, like, recognize what they're talking about, like, the topic of the conversation, but not what exactly they're uh, talking about. Mm. Okay. Whenever I mention a name, I look at them in disgust. <laughs> <laughs> Make a deception check. <laughs> Oh, you you guys have disappointed him. Pidgey shrugs. I uh, understand that, but I uh, have seen you all uh, fight. I uh, understand that you are strengths are different. I agree that Melora is also a powerful magician or guardian. It is the spirit that I judge, not the body. Well, Zardos, from my perspective, has one of the uh, strongest spirits that I've seen. He, he, he was born into a family with a very, very cruel family head. He was raised together with cruel siblings to do vile deeds, and he overcame that. I think I think his conviction may not be as obvious to to anyone just purely looking at him knowing him for a few moments but I do think that um that you're underestimating him. And to be fair, we we all five are especially good if we're together and that's where our real strength lies it's not every single one of us it doesn't matter if trego won the duel or not for us it only matters if we gain the help that we that we can uh, that we came here looking for and we will only gain that help uh, as a group not as individuals Make me precision roll. Perhaps I was uh, too rush. I apologize. Oh, no need to apologize. I mean, he did lose. I look again at Zardos with contempt. 
and then I smile. It's a nice night. <laughs> to die. Yeah. Uh, well, Pedrick, just to thank you for your hospitality and bringing us here. I don't know if I've uh, said it already, but thank you. Ah, I uh, owe your adept of life. I do not think I'll have the opportunity to pay it back. From my perspective, you don't owe us anything. The only thing that is owed to you is the hours uh, and days and months you have spent in... Uh, of time that you spent in enslavement by the, uh, by the uh, Gaul Kingdom, but you will never get that back. We merely did the right thing of freeing you. From my perspective... I mean, this might be a cultural thing, for, but from my perspective, you don't owe me anything. And I hope I don't offend you by saying that. I I know that in some cultures we do have different perspectives on things and concepts of anything might be vastly different. So I hope you don't take any offense by me saying this. No, I understand. You have made good companions on our adventures. So did you. I'm sorry for not talking more with you. It might it was probably boring at some point with us talking ah. coming all the time. Language barrier but, is tough. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe next time we see each other. Once we leave here, we come back every, with everyone speaking Draconic, then we can have a proper conversation with everyone. And tell you how we defeated the Mother of Dragons. That's the idea. I uh, hope uh, you will have the opportunity. I translate what we talked about. Oh. I think everyone pretty well today. Hey, what was that, Patrick? <laughs> <laughs> well, I actually I was actually betting on you, Zardus. Uh, well, like I said, I wasn't really expecting too much out of it, especially with her toys after seeing how she fought with you earlier, knowing she was holding back then. Well, yeah, it kind of looked like you got the full brunt of what she can offer. Yeah. And... yeah, even then I think she was still holding back, but yeah. Uh... Not gonna lie, I was fairly, fairly certain I would have just healed over from that lightning, so... I don't know. Yeah, that lightning was mighty. Yeah, not for Absorb Element. I'm not sure I could have handled that one. Well, good thing is we don't have to fight her in reality. And what should we do when we do fight her tomorrow? Hmm. Well, first of all, uh, it's going to be us five, so I don't think... Um, uh, Spreading out so I... we don't get breathed on at once. Yeah. Uh, but still maintaining in my 30, 30 feet of aura, I guess. Yeah, that might be might be tricky at times. Also, getting into melee range with a flying dragon is gonna I think prove th hard. Yeah. I'm I'm definitely going to be, you know. <sighs> I think I mean, it I can might try be time to... to test out the, the, the Phoenix shape. 
Nah, there's that. I can try to earthbind her, but I don't know if that's gonna work. Uh, you can sit on my back, then jump onto her, start stabbing her. Yeah, sure. Mm, we all, there was other people who can cast Earthbind as well. Um, maybe cast it once if she resists it, just keep casting it. Eventually, her resistance has to dwindle. Once I think I'm in melee form and can hit her reliably, then she won't be able to move, maybe? I don't know. Well, I think, I think what you two do best is hit things, so cast hitting. Mm-hmm. I do that a lot. We know she's a dragon, and I know it's expensive, but do we want to... I can prepare it in the morning. Do we want to treat this as an actual battle battle per se and i can cast heroes feast to give us immunity to the fear no i don't think we have oh, to man. go that far no i'm gonna convert conserve conserve i'm gonna conserve some of my my no, work tomorrow should... since i went all out today and i need we should we don't even yeah. have the component for heroes feast anymore we use them all we... for the nevec fight we don't have any oh yeah, well, maybe we don't use anything that that consumes material. Right. In the combat, we use as much as we. Hmm. Maybe I shouldn't use my my polymorphing ability just in case I need that energy to learn the word. I don't know. Hmm. We don't need the energy to learn the word. Just for a demonstration. No. Oh. I don't know how that is like, so you tell me. Yes. I died. Whatever you can get in a day's <laughs> rest, I think, is worth spending. Other than that, it's too much yeah. to spend. That's yeah, why that... I'm going well back. Well said. Yeah. So I'm gonna... Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be a phoenix tomorrow. <laughs> Who Not knew Heron's, sure. Heron's oh, talent is going to be composed of two phoenixes? Well, you do know that um, Herons were often used. Never mind. This is my this is my character speaking. He has no fucking idea. But now I'm interested. Out of character. <laughs> this, was, this is what Dan told me. Dan told me that uh, they were often used as basically the representation of a phoenix was a heron. Oh. So it's pretty fucking close in any case. I didn't know that. That's cool. Well, uh, we're definitely phoenixes in some sort. We definitely did come back from the dead. I'm not some all of than others. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, still stuck there. Yeah, I think he won't catch up in on my head start there. I mean. <laughs> I mean, if you, I can, I can talk to the Raven Queen, and she could make things possible. But so after this, we can still uh, always uh, take her name change to the Order of the Phoenix if we want. Yeah. <laughs> no, you can't. It sounds a bit. It's a lot of paperwork to assuming. change name. <laughs> also, we have a quite an established name between with with all the with all the lore. Yeah. All the merchandise uh, out there. All the merch, yeah. Yeah, you guys need to brand. think. You guys need to think bigger. We need to develop. Oh no no. Oh. Hmm. 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 Okay. <laughs> I'm kidding. No, I was laughing about something else, but I don't know if I'm supposed to say. So I will keep my mouth shut. Merchandise. Hmm. Never mind. All right. Let's go to bed. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go to bed. So you make it back to PGX place. Zardos engages in a short, I assume, cleanup. Gets sent out of his armor. Joins the Send in My Pants Club. And all of you, though some more tired than others, uh, Go to sleep. 
Leos, you are awoken in the middle of the night. You get a message. A sending message. Oh. The day is gone and the mother has not come yet. Perhaps my calculations were wrong. I will respond. Good to know. Uh, we will know in a few hours if we are going to learn the word. That's 18. Um, wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the wrong campaign. Um, If not, we will return very soon. On the dot. And you, Zardas, also I have woken as you get a message from Aliana. He goes, Well, the hunt went well. Building an army. I talked to the king and the mage. It was fun. I didn't mind the idea. I'm better waiting for your input. There was the last part. You didn't mind me. They don't mind the idea, but are waiting for your, the hero's talents, input. Okay, I don't know, we'll hopefully be back sometime soon, once we get the word, but we'll see. Anything yeah, else I should know? Yeah. If there's anything else, let me know. What was it? Remind me. The uh, Undead Army. Oh, right, 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 right. Okay. They're not opposed to the idea of having an undead army instead of sending in... Or at least Liliana, Liliana says so. Yeah. Oh, the one we already said no to, right? That's the one, yeah. Uh -huh. He didn't say I no mean, if the, to, if you the said... king is all for it, yes, we can we put the blame on him if it goes uh, south. Alright, well, in that case, uh, you spend the rest of the long rest getting a long rest, because that's how long rest works. <laughs> and you wake up in the morning on the 8th of uh, March. You have... Um, recovered. As much as you could. Uh, so the only thing missing right now are Trego's uh, prominences, if I remember correctly. Yeah, but that's a new and I'll get a new one. Can I uh, ask another question here? Um, when no. do I roll for HP? Didn't you roll already? You told No, I did not, no, so that's okay, why I'm yeah, asking. Sure, go for it. Okay. Yeah. Don't roll like Zardos. Roll good. Nice. I I'd get oh. anyway. I thought it was Pretty a good. five that you rolled. Uh, okay. Yeah. 
And um, I am taking the tough feet then. Yeah. There's literally the tough and the lar and, and the alert left over, so. <laughs> That's tough. That's tough. I wanted to power kill you. That's good. Nice. So how much do you have right now, maximum? One hundred forty-four. You would survive the one hundred forty damage of necrotic damage that you did. <laughs> if there wasn't an attack before that. But <laughs> true. <laughs> how much do you have? One hundred twenty-four. Forty-four. One hundred forty-four. Oh. So that. That one night of really good sleep, like, did the job, like, yeah. Wait, <laughs> this is it's it. a, a, a purely out of fear of being killed by a dragon, he, he j just became more resilient. Uh, wait, you gain, Tav gives it 2 per level. Yes, it's 19 times 2 is 38, right? Oh, yes, uh, plus 105. Yes, I'm stupid. I 1043. Yeah, I'm, uh, so I thought 139. Or 39. Uh, 143. I'm pretty sure that's one hit point is gonna be super important. <laughs> we'll you're see. gonna suffer for it. <laughs> if you're in a duel. Yeah. Alright, well, uh, in that case, uh, I assume your plans is to have one more fight, right? Right now, while you're still waiting? Yes. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, in that case, uh, let's go um, take a quick uh, break. Uh, and then we'll have the fight right after. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, it's not yeah, gonna last too long. Let's see in a few.
All right, and we're back. So, um, you've had a good night's rest. Uh, you got some messages into the night. It is now the morning of the 8th. You are supposed to be fighting Krogardian in like two hours. So you have time to prepare. Change your spells for the day, because that actually takes a lot of time if we were following the rules. Um, do whatever else you want. Discuss those messages. Go ahead. Oh crap. What's, uh, what's the plan? What plan? Okay, a simpler question. Should I wield the shield as a wings or should I wield the shield as a shield? Oh, you mean, um, well, what's the difference? Uh, I lo as the wings, I get flying speed of 40 feet, but I lose one AC. And the ability is to not get knocked prone or be shoved. And as a shield, I don't get flying, but I can get, I get 23 AC and the abilities to uh, resist prone and all that. Can you change mid combat or does that? I take... can, but it takes some turns. Okay. Um, personally, I think it might be more useful if you can fly. If we fight her in her natural dragon form. I mean, you, uh, you can also sit on my back. I will be in Kirin form, but you will de be depending on where I fly. Mm hmm. I mean, I will, I will probably be in the face of her, so you might be in, within range, but I can't really control that. Um, Just gonna add that when the dragon is probably faster than you. Not so, in current form. That would surprise. Mm -hmm. No, not you. No. Yes. Me. No. So having okay. being able to fly might not be that useful if she can always just keep her distance to you if she likes to yeah then the shield version might actually be the better option and uh, you could sit on my back and i will soak up some damage give you a bit of healing as long as i can and so being gonna... that uh and get as close as possible you could get on my back as well zaros i mean i'm big enough Okay. No, I'm just saying, are we starting off just you starting off the fight already in Kirin form or waiting to see? You? I'm going to turn into Kirin before we leave. So, now. Hi. Probably. Is the house big enough for me to turn into Kirin? Uh, not. It's I mean, you can find a place in there to turn into Kirin and gas form, but you'll basically have to okay. do that in the room. Like in a lounge or something. It's better to go outside. Yeah, okay. Um, I, um, I might be able to change into something that might help with... If she goes into the air, maybe. Um, Maybe... Uh, what was that creature we saw? The... That ice bird, the phoenix? From yeah. the distance, that seemed pretty big. I mean, I could also turn into that one. Um, that would be just a huge fucking creature, but... I wouldn't be able to heal any any of you. And the I Kieran, think Kieran's better. The Kieran is definitely faster. Well, the biggest problem with the oh. Phoenix, if you want access to that, I need to send you the files. I can uh, uh, send her screenshots of. All right. It's kind of like the Matrix downloading Phoenix. I know how to Phoenix. <laughs> I'll send uh, if you want. I, I'll send you the uh, the stat block uh, into screenshots. Where send message? Here's the first part. And here's the second part, which is only the... I'll include the rest, but you can't use the legendary actions anyway. Sweet! 
Yeah, so you wouldn't be able to cast the spells in that shape, but you would be very hard to hit. Well, also the theory is to keep her from getting too much height in the air. If I can land on her, maybe I can use massive weight push down on her, keep her grounded. Yeah, you could tackle her. Maybe grab one of the wings, make her fall. If, you, if the battle starts with her on the ground, you might be able to stop her from getting into the air to begin with. And get up to her soon enough. Oh, I have an idea that might... I don't know if it will work, but I will try it. Okay. What's that? Ah, it will either work or not. It's it's just something that I might do in the Kieran form. You like a surprise. We get it. Yeah. If it doesn't work, then you know nothing happens. But if if, we're, if it works, then you will be like, oh shit. <laughs> Looking for what? You know, so long as I don't go, oh shit. How about we start walking? <laughs> you might go, nah, that doesn't work. I <laughs> well, <we'll> might. <laughs> I will. Uh, I will ask you in uh, uh, when the time comes, if the time comes. In the heat of the moment. Okay, yes. that was <laughs> not the dragons I wanted to look at. So, yeah, you uh, leave Pijik's house, who obviously takes along once more, because why not? It's very enjoyable to see you guys getting beaten up. <laughs> uh, and uh, you... Oh yeah, I, I, I turn into Kieran before the whole, uh, sure. before we even leave. Sure. So I can... Make that permanent. And uh, you travel towards the beach, where you <clears throat> uh, see Roger Dien, uh already uh, waiting for you in her dragon form. Uh, you see that she mostly looks like she usually does when she turns into dragon. But on her front claws, there are some kind of armor, like armored gloves, armored claws on top of her claws. Um, and seeing you approach, she like stands up, goes out to you. Sup? I'm ready to roll. Oh boy. Yes. Wow. Um, Alright. Well, always impressed. I considered the larger scale of this bar, and I think we should relocate. This beach is a bit too small for all six of us. <sighs> Where are we going? Uh, ten minutes down the beach to the cliffs. There's a nice gorge over there. Has a bridge, has a river. There's some cliffs we don't need to fear about destroying. That sounds good. Looks more appropriate, okay. like um, terrain, not like an arena. Sure. I think I take one side of the bridge, you take the other. After all, I don't think an ambush situation is something we need to train for the mother. <laughs> yeah, no. After all, if you fight her, she will be the terrain. Is that <laughs> low calling her super fat? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, here I go. Ah, oh, my sweet little half elf. I wish it was oh. that simple. Oh. 
That made me dizzy. Last time I saw her, it was uh, several centuries ago, but... But now... I'm considered large for a dragon. Not as big as Argosaur or Argentair, but what am I? 15 feet tall? A bit more? Not bad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Last time I fought Mazra. She had a height of 220 feet. A wingspan of almost 500 feet. And a length of more than 300 feet. Not counting the tail. That will be another 300. In European numbers, a wingspan of 146 meters, a height of 67 meters, and a length of 102 meters. That is about a 20-story building tall. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. And that was the last time she fought. Oh my. Ah. She is not as large as our brother, fight. as our father, mm -hmm. but... I really don't know what can work against her. Well, <laughs> is there a size limitation on Earth, Blind? <laughs> I don't know. I don't remember. Well, I know that stupid as it is, there are no size limitations on Sentinel until, unless I say so. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, it would make sense that Sentinel can stop a building from moving. <laughs> yeah, I trip yeah, her. yeah. <laughs> yeah, the, the whole building just. I mean, over. to be fair, if you come to a building and stab it with a spear, I'm pretty sure it's not going anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you might consider it similar to when you like step on one on a nail as a human. Uh -huh. It's tiny in comparison, but or a Lego still, piece, yeah. you're still gonna fucking flinch. All right, let's do it like this, Trigger. You're gonna like zoom out the camera. You're gonna put a. Te a um, what is called? Um, thumbnail? A thumbnail on the floor. You're gonna step on it. If you don't go anywhere, I'll let Sentinel to work on Mother Dragons. If you start running around, jumping around, then no, it doesn't work. Hmm, okay. <laughs> Sounds fair, right? <laughs> um, where was I? I was checking out Earthbind. I mean, no, technically Earth's Bind spot. works on everything, it's just that, you know, like, when her range is about as long as her length, strength saving throw, I mean, it could work. The spell doesn't say it shouldn't. <laughs> natural ones are always an option. Yeah. yeah. Is, it mm. is a natural one for a saving throw, even if no. you have a modifier, is always a fail? No. No, no. Okay. So if she has a plus nineteen, then there's nothing to be done. Okay. Oh. That could, I it's... could imagine that that, that might have be her bonus. I mean, also like on I everything. Mean, I'm not gonna give him more than ten legendary resistances, so you will break through eventually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just just the moment before we all die. <laughs> Imagine. No more than that, you know, it's like those deals, starting at... You know, we, we never, we never get through the legendary resistances when it's three. You so do, you do occasionally. Right, doesn't matter. Yeah, we should... Um, let's get started. So yeah, you take a short walk down the beach until you can see uh, a cliff rising ahead of you and the road kind of like going along it and you see a, like a tiny I guess valley where a river is cutting through the cliff and flowing into the ocean or whatever this body of water again around the island is there's a bridge connecting two sides and the road basically cutting through so I don't know why I'm describing you when I can Show you, you know, show don't tell, but whatever, I like talking, so, <laughs> which I don't like talking, but. Uh, oh no, that's wrong, it's uh, wrong, camera, action, oh, I don't want to do this, 
I'm not literally thinking this. Bigger. Am I gonna be bigger? What's this? What's this huge sign at the bottom? A uh, what? Oh yes, it is a uh, name of the bridge. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> It is a watermark that I didn't bother removing. That's what it is. Oh, I thought it was like the Hollywood sign, but for the dragon uh, uh -huh. playing. <laughs> yes. Heck. All right, whatever. This is good enough. Uh, okay, okay. So yeah, please go. Oh yeah, there you are. <laughs> um. I think I'm missing somebody. Hey, one Zardos, please. I mean, he doesn't have to fight. Yeah, I can set this one out. Yeah. Still sore from last night. Should we mount uh, Leos now before we start? <laughs> yes, mount me. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, wait, wait! Before you are the worst. Before she, before he mounts him, I want to cast um, protection from energy on Lego first, and I'm oh, I'm gonna use two spell slots. Um, one for it's concentration. Is it? Oh, no, you yeah, it is. It's con. Want it on Trego? Do we want it on Leo to keep him from dropping? Hmm. That's cool. But that takes your concentration. Doesn't it? It does. So, oh, okay. It will, but, but at least there's no negative to losing it. Which, uh, I'm wondering if you, if you try to use Earthbind, the second you start casting it, protection goes away. Yeah? Because Earthbind is con concentration. Right. I already yet. So get on or get uh, uh, or remain on the ground. What's your choice? Zardos. I'm not sure I'll hop on. Okay. Watch me roll initiative with a two or something. <laughs> yes. I mean that's a cure. Uh... Alright. Um, I shouldn't have done this, but whatever. We'll manage. Oh, well, minimum I can roll is four. Uh, so you are ready, yes? Mm -hmm. I'm just preparing to dice pool. Mm-hmm. Ah, this is a small table. <laughs> Alright. Well, roll initiative. I like I'm a two face with this lightning lighting. Oh, yes, this is a good roll. Oh. Nice. nice. No, why did you have to roll higher than me? <laughs> he can hold his action. Yeah, but he might be getting closer if he moves on his own turn. Right? You might get within range. Uh, let's see. Can do other things. And then I don't get any of those. <clears throat> so I just yeah. roll. Oh, I Why did the music stop for me? Did it? Oh, yeah, I oh, forgot to reload. Page crashed. Me. There it is again.
Alright, yep. Okay. So, you take your positions. And as Rogadian gives off an order to start combat, you Zardos are obviously the first one to go. Alright, being this far away, I will just take a couple shots with this uh, bow and arrow and say, Leos, you could have done this. <laughs> you mean this? <laughs> yep. There it is. 17. <laughs> Always. I mean, it's not hard to hit a dragon, but she has armor. <coughs> it is. Well, no, she, uh, she, she doesn't have armor. She has like clove gloves, basically. She's a monk. <laughs> uh, mm, but okay. she's a dragon. Dragons have natural armor scales, so your f f first uh, arrow kind of like plinks off her armor. Your second one just misses her completely. Your third one, however, does connect. But and yeah, that's it for now. Okay, right. maybe you could have done better than that. <laughs> Probably. Um. At the end of your turn, she's gonna use two of her legendary actions to uh, take off the ground and gain forty feet of. Air, speed, air, distance, whatever. Um, yeah, sure, why not? Uh, yes, this is your turn. Yeah, um, uh, that's like 60 feet of... No, I have to measure from the center. Uh, no. That's 60. Yeah, I could easily get within range of her, right? I assume your speed is more than 60 feet? Yeah, 120. Yeah. So, I will go on to same height. Uh, one second. And... Alright. Good. Um, then I would like to attempt the following. I want to cast command with my action on her. Mm-hmm. And it should be Grovel. Mm. Alright, uh, is it uh, with the same Uh Let me post it. Uh, yes. Yes! Awesome saving throw, DC 17. <laughs> Uh, Alright, that's legend resistance down. Oh, okay. <laughs> Whoa! And <laughs> with my bonus action, I'm gonna cast Sanctuary on myself. Alright. Uh, and my turn is over. Oh, so yeah. Sanctuary. Uh, at the end of your turn, she is gonna whip her tail mid-air and try to strike at you. Uh, 26 on her wisdom saving throw. Oh, yeah, that makes it. Well, I rolled above a 10. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so that's her tail. Uh, uh, Can so I, I need six. Uh, Yes, you will in a moment. Uh, that's a natural 19 to hit. That's above 30. Uh, yeah. <laughs> And that's gonna be... Uh, 17 points of bludgeoning damage. Alright, I'm unconscious. No, I'm kidding. Uh, do you, uh, what's your constitution? Actually, you... Yeah, you roll as Giddens, so you need to roll anyway, most likely, I think. Oh no, wait, you're permanent. Uh, you don't consider anything. Yeah, right? yeah. I, I want permanent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. alright. Yeah, Trek, you can send me Oh, uh, it's a miss. Ooh. Okay. 
<laughs> as you strike out with your spear and you feel like the, t the very like like final edge of your spear like just slide off your scales. Um, so that's your turn. At the end of turn, she spent her legendary uh, action. It is her turn now. She and like <laughs> in front of you and. Uh, 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 uh. One second. Yeah. And you just see as the fins on her neck go boom, 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 light up with blue as energy gathers in her mouth and she unhinges her jaw and goes. Releasing a horizontal line of lightning just sweeping over all three of you. I need Lils in killing form to make a dexterity saving throw. You do get Tragus Aura, but on your throw, everybody's saving throw will yeah. depend. Oh, uh, yeah, that's, that's 18. a bad one. Uh, yeah. Well, that's a fail. So that's gonna be... I would like to use a legendary resistance to succeed instead. Yay! Yes, you do have those. Okay, sure. Go ahead. Cool. Thank you. That's one down. In that case, uh, all of you take, that's a very bad roll, uh, 33 point of lightning damage, which you can reduce with absorb elements or whatever if you want. Yep. So that's gonna be 16. Millard didn't cast protection no, from energy, right? She didn't. she didn't. No, I did not. I didn't say it. Okay, so we all I'll take 33? Uh, you take 33, Leos takes 33, Zardos takes 16. Um, that was her action, and that was her turn. Uh, can you post Sentinel in chat for a moment? I have a yes, ruling question that I think I should figure out before it might happen. Uh... Speed zero. Uh huh. Okay. Got it. Uh, it is your turn, Dragon. I am going to cast Bless on us three people. So, where is it? Uh, so yeah, me, Zardos, and Leos. Okay. Hmm, I just think. Actually, uh, what can I keep? nah, I made, this, I made a stupid thing. Okay, whatever. And uh, I don't think I could utilize my bonus action any other way. No, I, well, you can cast like a smite spell or something. I think they take bonus. Yeah, action. but that's oh, that's concentration. Then yeah, I don't think you can. Yeah, so that's my turn. All right. Uh, at that's the that's end that's of your turn, I need uh, all of you to make a dexterity saving throw. Uh, you guys can put also the bless uh, thingy. Oh yeah, thank you. Uh, which one is that? Blinks. Uh, blinded... Blink? No, that's the wrong one. Bless. That's the one. So dexterity saving through? Yes. Casual plus 10 from Trego for Zardos there. <laughs> dexterity... Oh, right, yeah. uh, so that is... Uh, 1d4 on top. Uh, give me final so numbers, please. 12, I don't want to do 18. the mass. Uh, 18 for Kirin. Wait, uh... Yeah. <clears throat> I think I can use the shield thing without a reaction, right? If Oh, wait. Only if it targets me? Wait, I'm reading it. Uh, 
Uh, Your yeah, shield and master doesn't work for this. Yeah. That targets only me and it doesn't target only me. It doesn't target only you and it doesn't allow you to take half damage, so... Uh, what's what's your final dexterity saving throw? 19. And for Zardos? 18, I believe. Plus 5 from Trigger, right? Plus 6. Plus 6. 6, so uh, 19. Alright. So, all of you fail, which means you are all knocked prone. Um... Uh, Meaning we Which all means fall. that Kirin immediately falls to the ground, and being above the river, I'm gonna say you fall 70 feet. Mm-hmm. Um, and as you hit the ground, you take uh, one moment. Uh, so uh, you take uh, 16 points of damage from uh, her, like, wind gust, mm -hmm. and you take uh, 76, I believe, fall damage. Oh! <laughs> wow! <laughs> yes, and you take that much fall damage. And, what the fuck? Uh, to answer your question, you can't use your shield to remain prone, you still fall because you fell with Kirin. But you will be yeah. not prone on top of prone Kirin. On top of a prone yeah. Kirin, yeah, that won't help. I mean, it will help, you won't lose your movement to stand up, but up to you to decide if you want to do it or not. Nah, it's, I don't think it's worth it. So technically I'm so how in, much? in like the, the, the edge of the water here, right? Yeah, so technically she's not 40 feet up, she's more like, let's put her at 70, because she's also like 30 feet yeah. above like zero level, and Melora and Arlis are like also 30 feet off the ground. Um, but the three of you are down below. Um, How much fall damage was it? Uh, nine. nine. <laughs> Look at the roll and roll 20. Uh, it's do incredible. Do I need to make, I need to make a saving yeah. throw? Uh, for what? For plus? Oh for yes, plus. consideration. Is your bonus... Uh, yes, you do. Nine, at least? Just make it. Yeah, you're good. Add a d4. Oh, oh never mind. Yeah, you're good. Doesn't I mean... Matter. Can he fail? It's he, he, just faster to roll it than think about it. Sometimes. Um, <laughs> sometimes. Uh, Alright, so that was yeah, Trager's turn. Uh, Milora, it is your turn. As you watched your friends dash bravely towards the dragon just to be sweated by the wings. And by the way, uh, since uh, she did do this, she is gonna take uh, another 40 feet uh, up. So, no. 70 plus 40 is 1. Okay. 1, 3. No, 1, 1, 0. <laughs> I hope we're not gonna go beyond 3 digits. Uh, your distance to her is 120 feet. It's, you know, like we take whichever is more, the vertical or the horizontal distance. So, just rely on that. Okay. I'm going to try and cast Earth Find on her. Alright. Um, I believe that requires a strength saving throw for me. Oh boy, well, that's a two. Two, legendary your resistance? Well, that's two thing? on my die, which means it's a second oh, okay. legendary resistance wasted. Nice. As you see, as those like bands of magical earth energy whip around her wings and start bringing her down, but she releases some pulse of energy that breaks them as the spell fades. Um, and I am gonna move a bit. Right. Yeah, and... Just to uh, spread me and Zardos out. Yeah. I mean, um, Arlis out. Uh, and uh, to mark your height, like, when you're mar pressing on those, like, red and blue, you don't press on them, you, pre you hover over them and you press a number on your keyboard and it puts that number on the marker, so you can, like, that's how we usually track, like, duration of buffs, like, track, you should be tracking the duration of blast, because this might yeah. go beyond 10 turns, I don't think so, but it might, so, like, it's 9 turns for you right now. Gotcha, um, okay, thanks. Yeah, uh, no problem at all. Um, well, that was Miller's turn, which means, Arliss, it is your turn. 
Um, which means um, she can repeat that saving throw as I am heightened earthbinding her. Right. No, this one is not a two. Roll, uh, 17. Please. On disadvantage? Holy yes. shit. Well, I'm not doing anything to that. Uh, instead, what I'm gonna do is quicken a second one. Hmm. So you like cast your magic as bands of earth loop around her, she just rips them open. Yeah, the one hand, second yeah. hand, trying to. The second to one is get not it. heightened, right? No, okay. that's just that normal. But I'd still like the. Uh, uh, 12. Anyway. No. What? Are you doing I'm anything? I'm not doing right? anything, right. is what I'm saying. What's the spell you say? Oh, no, I can't. 12. 20, 20. no way. Okay. Uh, yeah, and once again, second round of bands come around her, rips it open. I mean, she's been working out for like at least half a millennia, so, you know, resolves the show. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll just, um... Hmm, no, I'll... Oh, fuck. One second? Okay. I'll stay where I am. And that's the end of my turn. Alright. Um, okay, that's the close for comfort. I should, use that. I should keep that. Mm -hmm. la, 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 la. Nah! Fuck it! Right, so she's hovering high above you all. You see as she drops about 10 feet, and as she drops again, lightning covers her fins as she opens her mouth and unleashes a second lightning breath. This time, however, she's being a lot smarter with its placement, and instead of swiping horizontally, she releases it vertically, swiping over Kirin. Trigger Zardas, steaming up the water and digging into the cliff in front of you, Arles, as lightning strikes through you. Do you get what I mean? Basically, did the line like this. So, I'd like all creatures in mention, since uh, Kirin is now technically on the ground, to make a dexterity saving throw. I think it's dexterity. Yes, it's dexterity. I'm gonna use Tides of Chaos. Go that for it. doesn't matter, but. And please give me final uh, numbers. I don't want to count blesses and everything on my own. Remember, plus I'm six. I'm gonna on use my second legendary resistance because I rolled really shitty. <gasps> Fair enough. <sighs> I'm not gonna be able to win this with the 19. 21. Alright, uh, 21 for Zandas. A little resistance for Kirin, 19 for, Kirin, 19 16. for Trega, 16 for Arles. Well, this means you all fail. Which means that, uh, barring any spells you cast to block the damage, you take... You take... You take... That's a good roll! A <laughs> hundred points of lightning damage. Do I need to roll for concentration? <laughs> uh, no. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, luckily, absorb element is still open. Fuck. Is it? Yeah, it's oh, because it's until the next of your turn. Oh, yeah, actually, that's. Uh, wow, really? That's really good. Yeah. Okay, you're gonna hit her next time, you're gonna deal some extra lightning damage. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so we all get 100 damage? Uh, you I get, get 50 because. She gets 50, I you try to get uh, 100, Zardas gets 50 because magic, and Arliss. Gets 50 because magic. Gets 50 because magic. Uh, Alright, well, her lightning breaths are expanded, and. She looks down at the disaster and go... 
I wish I could just stay and fight, but I promised you a training. <laughs> and she takes another 70 feet up in the air. Zardus, it is your turn. Okay. Shit. All yeah, right, you're uh, no longer blessed, by the way. Oh, all right. <laughs> oh, yeah, all right. right. <laughs> Not sure if how well it would work, but we'll try it anyway. And we'll also Earthbind. <laughs> Save it. Save an advantage. <laughs> can can It'd you? It'd be super funny if she just died from the fall. Yeah. Can you like post the James Johnson, Jameson Jones laughter meme over here? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's the spell? Uh, you say? Disadvantage save. Uh, Seventeen. A wide disadvantage. Because I hit her last turn with my, t my attack. With your bow? Attack. Does it work for that? Yeah. Any weapon attack. All right. In that case, I. On the wall. Well, this I don't have a reaction. You can just tell him the normal thing. I mean, it's a uh, twenty-six. Yeah, it saves. Barely. Yep. Um. Okay, I will. Because we're at the bottom of a cliff now, aren't we? Yes. How high up is the cliff? Um, uh, 30 feet up to, like, this level. Actually, like, oh, right. more like 20 there and 10 more, like, up to here. Um... Alright, well, if I'm, you know, stand up from being prone, which, yeah, did just a turn, and don't really have anything for bonus action. Yeah, just hold on for Leos to get up. Okay. Um, Alright, um, in that case, at the end of your turn, She's gonna use a legendary action to make a perception check. Okay, good to know. Uh, it is Leo's your turn. Well, <laughs> seeing what just happened, uh... I think it would be prudent to cast uh, Mask Your Wounds on level 9. Oh, wow. For... That's not very much. 44 hit points. Uh, it's, it's actually above average, I think. Yeah, it's an ab above average roll. Uh, uh, so you that's... don't reach Arliss, though. Oh, could I have moved before? Um, yeah, sure. Oh, no, never, never mind. No, no, it's okay. I will not reach Arliss. I mean, you do have 60 feet of movement, um, I think, after you stand up. I mean, also, yeah. please do come closer um, to Arliss. Can I... Uh, it's not... I'm um, gonna move us 60 feet up. Like right. here. Uh, so that we're essentially 20 feet above the ground here, I think. Okay. Or. F how, how high is the cliff? Was it. You cliff? are now well above the cliff, yes. Okay. Um, and Zardos. Uh, is still on me, right? So I will yeah. take him with me. Yeah, I mean, nobody's said um, anything. And with my bonus action... Uh, 
I... I... Just because I can, I will cast Sanctuary on uh, Trego. Good idea. Um... So that's the end of your turn? Yep. Oh wow, what do you know? There comes the breath. <laughs> yeah. So, um, on her turn, she goes into a swift dash as she flies across the gorge. Bye bye guys, see ya. And... and turns around. Nah. No, I don't wanna. I don't wanna. I don't wanna. I don't wanna. And... Say like this. And that's the end of her turn. Trigger, your turn. I am going to lay on hands myself because I'm. I saw death. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna use everything, all my ninety-five points. Mm-hmm. And uh, I guess get up. I mean, that sounds like a plan, hearing, but still. Okay. And skills? And uh, I don't know if this will help, but maybe try and position myself between the dragon and Zardos. So maybe Zardos will get the three quarters cover. I don't know. Um, we'll see. Make me an aesthetics check for climbing in there over Kirin. Alright, you're good. You don't throw Zardos off the horse. Alright, any skills you want to do? Okay. I'm just adding the HP, but now that's the end of my turn. Alright. In that case, in the end of your turn, she's gonna use two of her legendary actions to uh, drop down another 40 feet, uh, which puts her at 17. And Melora, it is your turn. Can I ask a quick a question real quick, because this came up in our uh, discussion? Yes, you can. What's your turn? Um... <laughs> God damn it, Jason. Um, he, he just had something really loud playing and it scared me for a oh. second. Um, so if I were to shapeshift into the, um, into the Phoenix. Yes. Does, I know that the armor merges and she doesn't gain resistance from her armor. Mm -hmm. What about her sky soul resistance? Because that's technically not equipment, that's a part of her body. But... The point was brought up that it's that my game statistics are replaced by the statistics of the creature. Would she still keep her lightning uh, resistance? Post or? the spell into chat. Okay. Uh... There's a paragraph, you retain the benefits of any features from your class, race, or other source and can use them provided that your new form is physically capable of doing so. You can't use any special senses yeah, you sure. have. Yeah, sure, you'll keep that. Okay. 
I'm gonna call out, Arliss, keep trying to restrain her, and I'm gonna shape change into the Phoenix. One moment. No, yeah, yeah that's just how it's called Frost Heart Phoenix. I gave Leos the thingy, but I. Yeah, he sent me the. Um, yeah, he sent the you the stat sheet. Nobody told me that I need to prepare a token. <laughs> uh, well, that's true. A second. Uh, this. Uh, how big is the Phoenix in description, Leos? Or any of you, tell me. What's the size? Sorry again? What's the size of the Phoenix? Uh, gargantuan. 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 All right, so let's make it 20 by 20. Uh, 20 by 20 is 280. Yeah, one moment is uploading. Yeah, that works. <laughs> <laughs> That's an appropriate size. Seems okay. That, uh, that's approximately uh, an eighth of the Mother of Dragons. Uh, Holy oh, smokes. Wow. Even if you ride on Malara, you need to spend a turn, two turns, to get across. I need to go to 26 damage yeah. every turn. There you go. That's the size. Oh, okay. It, it uploads it in the definition of the image. So, you know, if I upload the 4K image, that's going to be a very big creature. Yeah. Uh, and. Uh, one second. Let me. Um, Give you the control. So let me just drop quickly armor class on the token and hit points. Not that big. And let's see. Controlled by Melora. There you go. You should be able to move it around now. I mean, if you want to transform. I might have jumped the gun a little bit. Yeah, she's gonna transform. Okay, thank god. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm change my mind. <laughs> no, I'm gonna transform into a frog. What other creatures do you not have tokens prepared for? <laughs> I think that might have been the only one. I mean, there are a lot of creatures I don't have tokens prepared for, I'll just need to upload them, basically. Because oh, yes. usually I don't just like find the picture, I cut it down and resize it and pre-upload stats onto it, you know. Yeah. Like at least I found the picture, which was very smart of me. Uh... Um, I'm gonna use the little yellow dot like that and put like her armor class on there so I don't have to keep looking at the sheet constantly for it. Sure. I mean, there's like already like if you select the token, it's a 22 is armor class. Oh, I can see that. Yeah, okay. I, see, I put hit points and I put uh, armor on it, so you can, you know, do the usual plus minus. I mm. would advise you to uh, to put the aura uh, oh, yes. range on, uh, on it. Uh, it's yeah. a thirty feet uh, aura. Yeah. Thank you for using a creature. I don't remember how it works. <laughs> uh, so I've never used this. That, um, that's the aura, right? Yeah, the blizzard aura and atta yes. attacks. Oh, um, let's see, there you go. I have disadvantage. Uh, on, why is it so you. blue? Oh no, no, Jesse, don't touch it, don't touch um, it, don't touch it. I'm okay. doing it. There you go. Let's not make it too blue. So what does it do? Any creature that chat touches so hits it. Uh, Pains. Area light obscure, difficult terrain. I'll text mail against Yeah, okay, sure, go for it. That's actually really good for slowing her down. Alright, so I'm gonna fly up towards her. Got a movement speed of a hundred, so I think I can get within range of her. Oh, uh, yeah, you certainly, uh, you certainly can. Uh, although that does put you 70 feet up in the air. Gotcha, I'll get that. All right, and I will... God, it's so hard to do this between two computers. Uh, 
me basic melee, so it's a 120 or beak 120 plus 13 to hit. Uh, I think you used your action to transform. Oh, yeah, that's right. Never mind. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Alright, that, that'll end my turn then. Alright. Well, you certainly got her in the aura. Uh, which means that at the end of your turn she's gonna test the waters and use her legendary action to attempt and strike at you with her tail, which she has to do at disadvantage because of the blizzard aura. Well, what do you know? That's a uh, 31 to hit. Holy <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, even with disadvantage! Yeah, I rolled a 15 and a 17. Uh, she, she takes uh, d10 uh, of frost, uh, cold damage. Uh, yes. Uh, and Milora takes 16 points of bludgeoning damage. Also, if I remember correctly, shape change is concentration. Let's keep this in mind. Yeah. Yeah, so she strikes you with her tail as it crushes... Uh, yeah, okay. As it crushes uh, the ice protecting your body and uh, singes uh, the tail of uh, Rogard Yen. <sighs> what a cold... Welcome. All right, Arliss, it is your turn. You are having not having much fun with these two giant kaiju creatures fighting above you. Uh, you need to make a constitution saving throw since so, you took damage. No, no. Uh, she's... Huh? wait. Yeah. Melora. You do because uh, yeah. Yeah. Phoenix have a lower... lower. Yeah, you have a plus... You have plus, plus eight. Plus yeah. eight. Uh, she retains oh. that. Oh. This is yeah, she retains. Right. Oh, concentration. Never mind. Sorry. Oh, she, she retains saving yeah. proficiency. Oh yeah. shit. Okay. Never mind. Then. Never mind. Then. So in th that case, your bonus is sixteen. Uh, fourteen. Yeah. So Wait, you it would don't be even have to roll. Yeah, you retain proficiency, but your stat uh, um, is taken from from the phoenix. So the phoenix has a plus eight. Plus your proficiency, which makes it um, plus 14. Oh, great. So it is higher regardless. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the minimum damage you, uh, you need to take is uh, 32. Oh, yeah. All right. Anyway, Alice, it's your turn. Yeah. Uh, uh, I don't remember I if it changes trying... anything, but like both of them are currently lightly obscured. Uh, I don't think lightly obscured is. You can hide visible, it, right? So. It is visible, yeah. I don't think it gives any cover yeah. or anything. Um, I will just reach on up again, trying to grab at her. Okay, go for it. Again, heightened. Okay. Thank you for warning me before I roll. Again, natural roll. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was like low lightly, roll, lightly. 17. Uh, li lightly obscured doesn't allow for hiding. That's o uh, that's a thing that elves have. It's oh, only okay. disadvantage on perception checks. All oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, natural seventeen. Okay. At disadvantage? Yes. I mean, it's a straight roll for me. Holy! Like I tell oh, you, like yes. the dice was like oh, trying to roll oh. over on the bedroll and then it just fell back on seventeen. Uh, yes. And th I misunderstood that part. Uh, well, uh, no luck changing that. But we need to quickly check something. Oh, motherfucker. Wrong button twice. <laughs> um, score three points. Three. Oh, that's, that yeah, might be close. close. but... It's not enough. Alright. Um, so that becomes obsolete, but uh, this is a little too close for comfort. So I will... Uh, quicken dimension door the fuck out of here. Aww. So let's get me a lot and of the map. And I can check again. There. That's definitely not a success. And I will just swap on right over here into the corner. 
Uh, also, technically, um, the three sorcery points apply only to the spell you cast. So they apply to when you heighten the spell to the surge, yeah. but not to the second spell you cast. Do you Even if I quicken it? Oh, you quickened it. Yeah, I had to quicken it. Is quicken also otherwise. three sorcery points? No, two. That's why I used two on oh, the second okay. one. Alright, yeah, alright. Uh, oh, I... Okay, um, he didn't roll the... for me, I see. Yeah. Yeah, alright. That's the end of my turn. Yeah, okay. Um, alright. Uh, at the end of your turn, it is... Her turn. Uh, no second dress. Uh, good for you. Well... She's got a friend next to her that's not gonna let her go anywhere. So she is going to use her frightful presence. Melora, I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. So I just add plus 13 to this. I mean, not 13, it'd be 1 it's four plus 12. 12? Oh, wait, That's it's your wait. Wisdom, wisdom is your own uh, yeah. stat. So plus, oh, okay. plus eleven. Plus eleven. Just normal roll. Yeah, normal roll. And five. All right, you fight against the fear, but as you flinch, she goes at you with her bite and claw. So bite disadvantage. Uh, Twenty-five. Actually, I should just switch to... Oh, that's 25 points of piercing damage, which is technically halved, because if I remember correctly, you have resistance to all of this crap. Uh, yes, I do. So, so 12. Point. And then she swipes okay. at you with both claws. Again, a disadvantage. Uh, <laughs> wow. 29 to hit on left claw. And 25 to hit on the right claw. Yep, they all hit. Uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> so, but as her claws with so metal's gloves uh, dig into your body, that crap is enchanted. She was prepared, and the claws hurt. You take 16 points of damage from one claw, and 13 points of damage from the second claw. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot to do that shit. Uh, I think uh, doesn't matter. Um, and uh, that's the end of your turn. Yes. Uh, that is, it would be your turn right now. Okay. Mm. No. All right. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go for it. Trigo, if you want to go, come on with me. Otherwise, I'm going. Come with me if you wanna leave. <laughs> Dangerously. Locking hands. And Get I to the Kirin. <laughs> put a hand on Trigo and mention door to her back. Okay, I need both of you to make a athletics check. As you try to okay, hold who's, who's on back, to the her. dragons or the phoenix? Well, if the I understand dragon. correctly, you're trying to jump on the dragon's back. Which, basically, if you want to hold on, both of you need to make athletics checks. To hold on and not fall past. Alright. Awesome. Uh, uh, yep, both of you grab onto the fins and are now on her back. <laughs> uh, also, you are 70 feet in the air, so adjust that when you have time. Alright, Zardos, anything else you want to do? Uh, are we holding on or are we standing? What's are you are sure standing yeah okay then i will you're surfing right now 
<laughs> Are we using the climbing onto another creature rules here? Uh, I don't want it. It's take, gonna take too much time. It's okay. okay. Yeah. I mean, they didn't climb the dimension doors, that's why I gave them the check. I think that's close to what it's supposed to be. Whatever, just keep playing. This is not the final boss. Alright, then, yeah, that'll be my action. And just to try something, I will action surge and try yeah. attacking. Go for it. <laughs> yep, so just for hits. Oh. oh shit! 34 oh. hits. Nice. Ansk, you want to do about that? Uh, yeah, I clicked it, it's not, mm. not going, try again. Alright. Yeah, I don't know if it's being laggy or what, it's not going through. Oh okay, yeah, there it is. There it's, it is. It's not through. Okay, that's 26. Alright, yeah, you... Yeah, I took the first one. So yeah, you yeah. stick her with uh, thirst and inject her with necrotic energy. As you see, a scale where you pierced her just turned to black. But as you stick, as you remove your sword and tries to stick it again, it slides off the scales for your third and final attack. Unless you have a bonus action. I do. Which since I haven't. Don't have that, I just have... where is it? Uh, um... I mean, you do that, uh, but... Isn't Thirst... On, yeah. Oh yeah, Thirst is, is gonna become plus two after this, right? Two. Okay. Yeah. I was trying uh, to double yeah. check that. And yeah. your weapon of warning just... bounces off the scales. Without any mm -hmm. damage. Uh, anything else you want to do on your turn? That's it. Alright, then quick question. How many minutes more can you stay here? Uh I might have another turn. Alright. Okay. Then let's do let's try and do that. Uh okay. Uh, so that's uh, the end of your turn. Um Yeah, no reason why she shouldn't. And at the end of your turn, she's gonna use two legendary actions to try and get you off her back as she flaps uh, with her wings strongly. I need the two of you and Melora to make uh, a dexterity saving throw. Does sticking to surfaces help me at all? Uh, no. And Laura? Right, so this, yeah, I'm doing it now. It should be plus 10 because it's dex plus 4 and then our proficiency. You have... And Trago's plus 6. Are you proficient yeah. in. Oh, no, no, no. I'm sorry. You're right. I'm sorry. Hold on. We're just plus 4. Gotcha. Uh... So then that's 12 plus. So 8. Uh, why are you rolling plus 10? Th that was wrong. I thought it included. <laughs> Actually, the, the plus 10 is correct. You have a yeah, bonus of a right. 4 on your anyway. deck safe and, and trigger Alright, so then 16. Everybody fails. <laughs> um, <laughs> which means <laughs> that you are. I'm going to try and download this, I feel. According to this, it says condition immunities uh, prone. You are immune to prone? Oh wow! Uh, according to the screenshot, nice. yes. Yeah. And yeah, wow. you don't fall prone. I have created a monster. <laughs> oh, yes, you have. <laughs> it says exhaustion, grappled, paralyzed, petrified, poisoned, prone, restrained, and stunned. I might Damn. need to check that later. Anyway, uh, where's the challenge ending of that crap? Hmm. Well, all of you do take uh, 16 points of bludgeoning damage anyway, and uh, well, Melora, you are not knocked prone because you can't be knocked prone, but the two of you are knocked prone, although you are still technically on her back. Um, so you stay there prone on her back, we will resolve that slightly later. 
And Lius, it is your turn. Oh, and also she's gonna. Well. She's gonna move uh, 20 feet. Like this, Milor, you can take an attack of opportunity against her. Okay. I'm gonna fly up here, over the ground. <clears throat> And well, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Huh. This... I'm gonna try it. <clears throat> okay. Cast command. Mm. Grovel. Mm. So wisdom saying so. DC seventeen. <laughs> yes. Is legendary. that the last? Last legendary resistance. Yeah. That's <laughs> one more legendary resistance down. Uh, with my bonus action, I'm gonna cast on level two sanctuary, which doesn't anything, but I don't have any spell slots anymore, and I'm done. Uh, Jason, I think that's a wrong modifier to your attack. It said plus 13 to hit, and yeah. then she's got plus 7 as Where the bird. From? Um, hold on. Jesse, like, sure. it's just like on your actions, on the screenshots that Lucas told you, whatever plus to hit is there, that's the modifier. It's already the final modifier. Oh! Yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry, I don't play English. I mean, it's still 17 plus 13, which is just a 30 to hit, which does hit. <laughs> um, so, which one were you using, Beak or Talons? There's only one correct answer. That's a Heron's Talon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it would be Talon. <laughs> Alright, we are all the damage. Uh, looks. How busy are you after the session? Um, I have time. Do you have the file I sent you for the Phoenix? Oh, I sh should still have it. I need to. I need to check. Right. Let's check. Okay. <clears throat> I'm sorry. So yeah, you do strike it with your claws as the dragon is retreating, which uh, penetrates and leaves uh, slight wounds on her back. Uh, but she still uh, moves out of your range because you don't have Sentinel. I did not give this to the creature. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, Leos did his turn. Um... Um, yeah. One, one, one last thing. I yeah. would like to descend onto ground. Here. Do you have enough movement speed Just for Just so I that? can't fall. Uh, I s have 10 more feet. I don't know if that's sufficient. That is Probably not, not sufficient, right? no. The clear there is also like 30 feet up. Okay, then I will descend uh, 10 feet. All right, good. And now I'm done. Okay, Thank you, you do that. And in that case, at the end of your turn, she's going to use her last legendary action to whip... Um, Trego with her tail while he is on her back, which because Trego is prone is gonna be at advantage. Uh, which thank God for the advantage is a 33 like to hit. Hits uh, for 14 points of uh, bludgeoning damage. And as it is her turn now properly, she. She's gonna turn, like, her, twist her neck around to stare at both of you and unleash. What? Oh. No, just wave. <laughs> okay, <laughs> just wave. Uh, and unleash a blast breath that you've tried to have experienced previously. I'd like both of you to make a strength saving throw. What? Oh, okay. Uh, you should master does not apply here. Yeah. Oh, Alright. So oh, 14 for uh, Trigger, 19 for Zardos. Uh, any rerolls, Zardos? No, I tried to last her. Alright. So, uh, the both of you are blasted by a wave of force from her back as you are flung 60 feet away from her. 
I'll use my reaction <laughs> to not. Uh, to it? not what? I'll use unyielding of the shields. Yes. To use the feather. Uh, please post uh, me the description in chat. Neither move nor not prone. I am prone, I'm just not moving. Oh, okay. Alright, sure. So, track you are not flung away. And it's, which means... What? Uh, what? Oh, wow. Does it, does it mean he's standing in the same position? Because it says yes. neither knocked or prone yes. uh, or moved. Uh, well, he didn't use it previously, so he is knocked prone, but he just yeah, doesn't know, go anywhere. I was knocked prone. Yeah. I'm using this. Oh, okay. Uh, Sorry. Zaris, however, is thrown over I'm there. Uh, why did he do that? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I was looking. There, sure which, was that. which means uh, oh, you, oh boy, all the whole seventy feet once again. Yeah. Featherfall. Oh, okay, good featherfall. So you are now slowly descending. You're gonna descend sixty feet at the start of your round. Please put yourself at seventy feet in the air right now. Um, and that's all it does. Are the breaths. Um, Trego, it is your turn. <laughs> Holding for dear life. Uh, I will get up. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, phew. trying to knock her down is gonna be fucking suicide. It's such a try. So I will, I will use my bonus action to cast Wrathful Smite. Okay. At which level? Uh, I don't. Yeah, first level. I don't think mm. there's a token for it though. Uh, no, it's gonna be expended right now. So just concentrate on it. No, well, if I hit. No, it doesn't. It doesn't matter. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Let's start the smiting. <laughs> okay. I oh, will yes. smite that. Yes. With, the, with the fourth level spell slot. Uh, you do that, okay? Uh, yeah, Jay, you can go. Uh, Lucas, can you get a six? Uh, sure. Thinking in it. Uh, yeah, that's going, guys. See you in a week. Are you gonna be here in a week? Yes. Okay, good. All right. Tell him how uh, how are you on time? I'm I sh I'm certainly I can go like at least another fifteen. All right. Then let's keep going as much as we can. All right, so let's see. Uh, that was uh, 14 piercing, uh, 12 radiant, uh, 46 more radiant, and roll once more of psychic damage. Six psychic, yeah, six no, psychic. No, oh, that doubles too. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. can also roll oh, right. on six. Uh, Minus 10 more psychic four. damage. Oh. All right, yeah, that is definitely a mighty blow that cleaves a heavy Jesus wound Christ. into her sight, and she needs to make a wisdom saving throw uh, or be not frightened of you until the spell ends. Natural 20, so she is not frightened. Okay. Uh, okay, anything else? Well, I mean, yeah, please continue. Yeah, let's attack again. Yeah, please don't crit. <laughs> oh, Thank no, God. it's good. Uh, that's a 17, that is a complete miss. Like, you. Almost sleep on the blood you just spilled as your spear slides off her scales. But she roars mightily at your blow. Um, Alright, uh, is it the end of your turn? Uh, bonus action to movement. I'm not moving anywhere. Uh, yes, that is my end of the turn. La 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 la. Okay. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. I mean, that's. Kind of pointless because of order initiative. She will use a legendary action to strike um, at Trego uh, with her tail. Straight roll. Natural one. Okay. Uh, that's that. Uh, Milora, it is your turn. Right, I'm going to fly up to her and I will do another. Roll. 
Uh, Beacon, I'll do the Talon attack again. And I, I mean, actually, you I have a multi attack. Yeah. Let me double check. Yes. Yes, I'll both. do the. Yeah. Mm -hmm. we'll see if both hit. So uh, it's one D twenty. Lucas, did you find 13. a file? Yeah, I sent it to you. Uh, don't send it to me. Can you please explain to Jesse after the session how to obtain the website that we're using so that she can actually use not a screenshot? Oh, yeah, sure. But, yeah, the thing. Yeah. Because, yeah. like, right now I'm also rolling on the website just for speed. Uh, all right. Uh, 23 uh, hits, 21 misses. So, a roll for the hit. As a damage. Nine. All right. Well done. Um. I mean, yeah. The fix is weird. Tank it doesn't do too much damage. The damage is, uh, isn't right. It's plus another seven. Uh. Plus the, the, it, it didn't factor it in because there's oh. another plus at the end. No, 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 no. It's just plus seven. That was a typo. Yeah, that's what I mean. That's why it should be uh, nine plus seven, sixteen. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Because there was the. You know, yeah, 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 okay. Uh, any discussion you want to do? No, I think that's all I can do right now. Alright, that's more than enough. Uh, okay, uh, so. Uh, yeah, at the end of your turn, she's gonna use one more direction to once again try and swipe at Trigger on her back because that's not fun. Uh, <laughs> 22 to hit. This is. Yeah, because I you have, have 23. Your, yeah, you have a big shield up. Big boy shield. All right, uh, Arliss, it's your turn. Well, you know what's coming. No. Um, no? <laughs> no? Here so comes, that's... Here comes uh, the heightened earth bind. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Oh, fuck. Uh, Natural roll, please. Four. Nice! Um, <laughs> yeah, just to be safe, I don't know how high her shit goes. I am going to band lock that downwards. Alright, go for it. Uh, where is my button oh. for it, though? I wonder if I can Looney Tunes this so she falls prone, but I uh, use the, sh the oh, shield feather. A natural one now? Uh, yes. Uh, so, uh, that's a fail, uh, which means she's gonna use her force legend of resistance to resist this. <sighs> This is good preparation. You are not <laughs> fighting an adult dragon. You're not fighting yeah, an ancient I... dragon. You're fighting something worse. I am going to quicken another one. Straight one, until right? Until she falls. This is straight. Um, first, I need to quickly... Um, yes. Do this here. That's definitely a surge. Uh, oh! Oh! Beautiful. I will take the first option for a free, uh, All right. another one, another disadvantage. Uh... Beautiful. And I am going to quicken that. Well, another level that's three. another fail. That's another Don't legendary you. resistance. What? Five? Oh my god. <laughs> what are we playing? How are we going to fight the Mother of Dragon if this one has five? Okay. okay. Uh, this uh, is, the, I think, the most legendary resistance we've got uh, ever. Yeah. And you use option okay. one, so she will have disadvantage on her next saving throw. Okay. That, that was for, that was for no no that was for the one that I did right oh. now. Oh, that was for the second uh, one. Okay. That she all that she used it again, so she yeah uh, she yeah doesn't yeah, yeah. Well, it would have been a fail future. anyway. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, well, skills? that's good to know. No, that's my turn. All right. In that case, uh, last legendary action. Uh, one more tail attack at Tragus. This time, twenty-four to hit. I'm slowly climbing. That, that hits. Uh, okay. Uh, in that case, that's 18 points of bludgeoning damage. And it is her turn. I'm gonna check for breath recovery. No. Uh, bum 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 bum. La 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 la. La 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 la. La 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 la. Uh, La 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 
Hmm, I know what I'm gonna do. Uh, she's gonna use her, her frightful presence. Um, so... Arles, Lius, well, everybody except Trega, make me a wisdom saving throw. Uh, Melora is in range, and I think she is also. for range for now. But if they leave your aura, they will be affected. Oh, okay. Uh, Kieran, wisdom saving throw, right? Yes, and let me roll for Zardas. I'm going to use Tides of Chaos. Twenty six. Yes. Twenty. Melora's 35. Uh, Melora succeeds. Uh, Leo succeeds. 26. Uh, I have a 23. 23. Succeeds, and Zardis Ooh. is the only one who fails. So he is. afeared. I don't know why He's I just like the material calling plate. that. Yes. Uh, and then she goes at Trego with her bite and her claws. So the bite is... Why did I roll the natural die? Doesn't matter. Uh, 20, 34 to hit? Mm-hmm. Or... Oh, what's that, that roll? For 13 points of piercing damage? Okay. And the claws are a 30 to hit mm -hmm. uh, for yeah, 17 points of damage and a natural 20 to hit for 20 to hit. I'm trying to figure out how the website works. I think I was overcomplicating it. For oh shit, roll for 18 more points of slashing damage. So that's three attacks. Do I want to do this? Okay. Yeah, sure. And she is gonna move uh, 40 feet away from Melora, so you Melora get an attack of opportunity. And she gets okay, um, out of your... Actually, no, that's not what she does. She gets... So that's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80. And that's how far she goes because as she gets out of order, her moment speed returns. Um, so, um, yeah. He, uh, Luke just got me set up with the website. Do you want me to just roll on this so it makes it a little sure, faster? Sure, sure. Go for that. Just tell me the number. Uh, 18. 18 misses. Okay. Alright, thank you, Lukes. Uh, sure. Uh, that was her turn. This one. Okay. So, uh, top of initiative, I don't remember if we have any tracking spells, uh, I don't think we do. So, uh, tell him, how, how are you on time? Um, like 5 to max 10 more minutes. And it's Zardo's turn now, I think. Yeah, yeah. alright. Mm, let's try and do this quickly, maybe this is gonna work out. Alright, so Zardas, he descends 10 feet, and just for the ease of access, he's gonna whatever, shoot his bow a couple times. Um, a disadvantage, I guess. Oh man, ah. you have to stay disadvantage! Yeah, because that's a miss. Because that's hidden, hidden fear. Uh, that's a hit. Oh yeah, fear. Hits. Oh, 23 hits. And that's, that's a miss. Uh, so that's 11 points of damage that he manages to do and at the end of his turn he would be doing a wisdom saving throw but he can't succeed so fuck it that's Zardos. <laughs> uh Leos, it's your turn uh well uh first i need to remove my sanctuary because i did cast a harmful spell before uh i'm gonna get out of the range of the frost phoenix which is 10 feet 20 feet 30 feet 
Uh, does the edge still count as in the? Uh, you are in place? order when you're half in it. Okay, cool. So then this would already be yeah out. So that that was I started here. That was ten. 20, 25, 30. I will just move up here next to her. Mm -hmm. um, I just get in range. Um, Does Trego look like he could take another round of beating? I don't think so. You can make a perception check. <laughs> nah. No. I I'm not gonna risk it. I'm gonna cast Mass Q Wounds on level 8. Um, on... Uh, I don't think that I can get all... You can't. ...of us. Could I get Arius pointing. in there? No, we're too, uh, too, too high up. You're too high up, yeah. Oh, yeah, 40, yeah. Um, yeah, in that case, it's just gonna be um, Trego and I who shall yeah, benefit from it. this. Oh, that's crap. Uh, that's hmm? 29 points of healing damage. It's better than nothing. It's better than nothing. And with my boner action, I'm gonna cast Sanctuary on him again. Right. Uh, good on you. Uh, on me? Yeah, on me. Oh, no, on me. On me. Because you will plow through it anyway in a second. Okay. Uh, in that case, at the end of your turn, she's gonna use two legendary actions to beat her wings. Again, I need you and Trego to make a dexterity saving throw. Can I please succeed on one? Oh, no. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, yay! Yes, right. Right. Uh, I'm gonna go downstairs for a moment. Yeah, so you go downstairs, you take um, 19 points from the wing beating, and you take uh, 76. Oh, wow, that was a high roll. 32 points of bludgeoning damage as you hit the water. That's 32. Oof. Did and take I'm the prone wing? on... Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you healed because. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're prone there, yeah. and Trigger, you take no damage. You're not knocked prone, but uh, Dragon uh, continues moving in that direction. Uh, what the fuck? Stay and, away from me. Um, <laughs> yeah, he's coming for you. And, and, and. Uh, it is her turn. <laughs> okay. Uh, she is gonna use her frightful presence once again. Actually, wait a moment. I think we're immune once yes, we're safe. Yes, you are immune to it. Never mind then. Uh, in that case, uh, she shall uh, move those wonderful 80 feet towards you as she <laughs> goes down. So you trigger also on the ground and she tries to bite you, uh, Argus. No, uh, I mean. 19 to hit? Yeah, that hits. Oh, wow. Uh, 22 points of damage. Actually, you're on your I do not there. have a reaction. Also, it wouldn't help. Uh, Did you write down the number? 22, you said, yes. yes. It's just I uh, there's I need to move myself down to use this thing here. Mm, okay. Uh, okay. And goes at you twice with claws uh, for 22 and 35 to hit. Yeah. Uh, for 20 and 18 points of slashing damage. Yep. Sure glad I took tough right now. Yeah, you <laughs> already be sure out. are. Yeah, you <laughs> would have been. Good thing you level up. Uh, and that's the end of this turn of hers. Trigger, it is your turn. Yeah, yeah, I was, yeah, I wanted to sentinel while she was attacking. Oh, uh, yeah, go for it. Us. I didn't want to interrupt. Oh, uh, wait. Oh yes, I think Sentinel needs that she is within 5 feet of you, right? Mm-hmm, as long as she is within 5 feet of me. Oh yeah, that hits. 25? Yeah. Okay, now is my turn. Yes. Uh, I will, uh, bonus action, cast, uh, Wrathful Smite again. And? Uh, again, level 1. 
uh, so I'm concentrating. I mean... And try and hit her twice. Go for it. Ooh, 22? That's a miss. Ooh, Let's smite that! <gasps> wow! Uh, <laughs> That's okay. uh, 22, 19... The damage rolls are insane too. That's decent, not the best. Oh, no, it's not that bad. Yeah. Minus 14. Minus 6, and I need a wisdom saving throw. Yes, uh, please be frightened. Uh, what's the spell DC? Uh, DC? DC 20. That's a fail. No more legendary resistances! Or does she still oh, have that's some good damage rolls right there? Second. Shit. Frightened is a fucking devastating yeah, condition, especially from Wrathful Smite. Right. As an action, wisdom check, not save. The spell is insane. I didn't, I didn't utilize it till now, but yeah. It this worked. spell has won me a duel I should have lost in this Yeah, you campaign. told me when you were the monk, I think, yeah. against the warlock. Doesn't matter. Uh, she's gonna use her sixth legendary resistance to succeed on this. Tell <laughs> <laughs> who's gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> That's too many, done. Uh, yeah, I know. Uh, what are you kidding? Any skills you wanna do, Trigger? No, what do I gonna do? Uh, I think that's it nice. for me. Uh, bonus action, two attacks, one miss, one crit. Yeah. Okay. Uh, at the end of your turn. Oh no, she be smacking me. She is gonna <sighs> have my reaction back, but I'm. She's gonna flap her wings. I need both of you to make a dexterity saving throw. Or maybe I can't succeed with trick. <coughs> Sorry. Did I roll? Oh yeah, there it goes. Oh boy. Yes. Yeah, you have to fix not that it's gonna help. Yeah, this is oh, a fail so. for both of you. You are knocked prone. You both take 16 points of bludgeoning damage. Mm -hmm. uh, and the dragon is gonna move like this. Oh, one more. Sure. Wait. Up prone and how much damage? 16. Uh, Melora, it is your turn. Alright, I'm just gonna dash over to her just to get her into my aura. Alright, go for it. Uh, and yeah. she'll actually be right on, right above her, so... Yeah, I just uh, okay. don't want to put the sure. icon over top of her. Alright, yeah, okay, fair enough. Uh, so you're like hovering above her, right? Yep. Yeah. Okay. And she's gonna use uh, one more legendary action to make a tail attack against Arliss at advantage because he's knocked prone. Uh, 34 to hit. Uh, yeah, that'll hit. 13 points of damage. Still up. It is your turn, Arliss. Yeah. Whoa. I'm just gonna shout up uh, at the Phoenix Forum to. Creep yourself between me and her, uh, and I am going to Dimension Door as my action the fuck out of there. Um, first, Tides of Chaos check, round two, zero sorcery points. Oh, there it goes. Oh, I think that's one off. That's one off. Fucking oh, right, because rounds have this charge. Um, yeah, I haven't updated the round yet. Yeah. Um, but I am going to be... Like right over here. If I could, I'd use the whole 300 feet Oops. I have for the other spell. But yeah, I was about to have to put okay. the range on that. 400 or 500, 500. And I, um, as you would know it, am going to quicken, mm -hmm. um, you know, another one. Mm -hmm. And that's sorcery gone. Let's. Do you need the natural roll? Hmm? Do you need it's natural? natural. Yeah, it's just natural. It's no disadvantage. Oh. Uh, in that case, it's a 23. Yeah, that'll save. But I get Tides of Chaos. Uh, a search, I mean. Oh! <laughs> I am going to... Wow! 
all of those 19 like sorcery side. points back as I am refueled with energy. You bastard! <laughs> what the hell? Back to full. Let's tighten some you, you, more. you just see like Arliss like go out. You know, like when a light bulb um, burns out, it does like this spark moment. And then mm -hmm. as he does it, he's like hit by bolt of energy from nobody knows where, and he seems to like glow from inside for a moment. Oh yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah, I think that's the end of my turn. Well, fuck you. <laughs> Um, and I need to leave now. Alright. Um, yeah, you go. I think we're gonna finish. Okay. Actually, no, oh, let's end fiction. here. Fuck it. And we'll resume. Yeah, I think that's good. Uh, from next session. Yeah, sorry. I did expect a lot that more. That would be top of initiative, right? Yes, that would be top of initiative. I did, ex I did expect a lot more to happen today, but fighting takes a lot of time, apparently, so. Yeah. Well. Yeah. It's good enough. Alright. Uh, Tell him, are you gonna be here next week? Yes. Alright. Uh, others? I'm not sure. And Jesse? Sure. Should be. Oh, sorry. Should be, as All long right. as things go good. So, uh, screw the young man in the top right. And see the rest of you in a week. <laughs>